Everybody, top of the morning to you. Welcome to this year's theme <laughs> place. Now we're not going to let a little thing called like a pandemic stop uh, us reinforcing national stereotypes, are we, lads? No, we are. We we are celebrating one year of COVID by uh, doing the session that basically started the whole thing. I'm sorry, lads. I know there's a whole thing about like 5G and all that shit. No, I'm sorry. The pandemic was caused because we played Clyde Barker's Jericho, but we are hoping to solve it. By playing the most Irish game that's ever been made, apparently. Um, so uh, joining me for this one is Neil Burkbot and Nordy, because we are about to play or indeed yep. watch If Found, um, which Neil you have reviewed already on the channel. Yes. He did, I promise oh. you. He... he did, and he just yeah he he reviewed it so well he reviewed it, reviewed it in himself into oblivion. Yes. We are now the key to the stage is now to try and find Neil. That's what that's the that's the that's the name of the game, quite literally. If Neil is found. If Neil is found, please return to sender. Please stay in touch. If found face down, please call an ambulance. <laughs> please return to Rascals. <laughs> Thank you for the cans. Thank you for kind of sponsoring this episode. Um without your permission. Um so Neil, um seeing that you have had a quick glimpse of this uh game already uh what can you tell us about if found yeah it's really really wonderful it's a beautiful little visual novel of a game um it, it's weirdly kind of done uh, what you'll have to do now to progress is essentially erase the screen mm. so you'll find yourself uh having to erase all of it so it, it sort of works backwards through our diary entries yes. um it's based in 1993 on Acal island just off the coast of ireland and we are Cassio, who's just come back from Dublin after completing a master's in astrophysics. Ooh. Indeed, we are. So, so Bert, Bart, Nordy, you've been told little glimpses of this game. I think actually we were speaking about this like two years ago when I told you there's a game like coming out based in Ackle Island, and it's made by an Irish company. So, like we kind of made it a, a, a bit of a, a verbal agreement that we had to at least check it out for oh, sake yeah. of patriotism alone. Yeah, no, uh, and uh, when Neil was telling us all about it when he was doing his review, yeah, it definitely seemed like we have to put on our list to play. Definitely, yeah, it should be great. So, yeah, yeah. So, um, so lads, we are gonna we are gonna start on our watch now. So we had the popcorn, we have our points, we have any any other Irishisms, we have our Barry's tea. There we go, and and a, and a bag of potato yeah. handy. So lads, th this game does have a glossary for all the Irish terms, so they'll be fun to read out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we'll have to like uh, provide like our own little addendums to what this actually means <laughs> to all of our international viewers. But um, but nevertheless, lads. So if we're already, oh, um, if at any point someone says, oh, "Well, yeah," so <laughs> are they going to do it? No, or no, or at least within the next five weeks. <laughs> like, imagine like one of the choices, like the forks in the road, where it's like, "Will you go this way?" I will, yeah, or yeah. <laughs> Like people like not from Ireland are going, but they're both saying yes. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, foolish fools! That that should be like the Irish. That should have been the copy protection for this game. Was to see, can you pass an Irish test? I was like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Although, in fact, actually, uh, Ask Ailga is actually a choice of uh, for really? language in this game. Yeah, you could do. Yep. You could play the entire game in Irish if you wanted to. Yeah. Yep. So, have you played this game in Irish? <laughs> no, um, but it is an option. <laughs> see, oh well, perfect no. opportunity to say I did. Yeah. I did, yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, I failed, lads. I'm a tar I'm, I'm a tan. I'm sorry, lads. I'll just leave. <laughs> I, I failed the first test. <laughs> okay, I admit I voted Finna Gale. Fucking leave me alone, all right? <laughs> okay. Right, lads. Shall we get started then? So I'll count us in. Uh, on three, two, one, play. I, yeah, I forgot to press play. <laughs> that's that's really disconcerting. Uh, we're, we're, we're like a fraction of a second behind this one. As you can see there, the, the wiping away thing. 
Spoilers. <laughs> it's it's not a spoiler, it's James. It's literally the gameplay. <laughs> Ooh, I like the music. Yeah, the music in this is fucking brilliant. Mm. And uh, yeah, this is the company, an, an actual genuine Irish company that's uh, spearheaded by Laura McGee, I believe her name is, the uh, mm-hmm. the writer for this game as well. So, And like I said, nothing really says Irish like uh, psychedelic s- stars. I can't really see most of them from the clouds. Like, like, like... Yeah, it's a very um, it's a very bright game. I think it's fair to say. Yeah, my eyes were not prepared for this. Ow, my eyeballs! The art is also done by an Irish artist called Leah Young, and she's just—it's all of it's just fantastic. Yeah. I'm intrigued so far. I do it. Ooh, marble. <laughs> You wouldn't want to have a migraine play of this. Would not it would not be recommended, that's for sure. So yes, this is the uh, main character, Cassio, that uh, Neil was referring to there earlier on. So there's kinda of like two stories kind of going concurrently at the moment. There's like one like as it were present and then there's one in the past. So the the two will um kind of coincide now momentarily, but um it's kind of the, I suppose it's kind of giving you the uh, the overarching plot first, and then it'll start making sense in a minute. Sure. I believe you're still slightly low on our side there, Bert, but if you want to try and uh, boost your audio a bit. Oh. What are we coming across to quiet? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. It's a black hole. It is a black hole. Oh, So I fear our um, our uh, protagonist has fallen into the black hole and is presumably seeing herself here. You get sucked into black holes. You don't fall into them. You get spaghettified inside I, them. Yeah, ex- absolutely. We need to get our facts right, otherwise then Neil deGrasse Tyson will come around and break our knees. I, he, come on, Neil. He's only get out of my dreams, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> It's always Brian Cox in my own. <laughs> so there you have it. There's your, there's, there's your, there's your title screen. There's your opening credits. Okay, so I like the art style and I'm loving the music. So yeah. you know, it's mm. winning so far. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a promising start. Anyway, that's for sure. But it's not very Irish. I would say, like you know, there's no green so far. <laughs> <laughs> um, we do have a fire and a fireplace, and that's very Irish. That is quite Irish, Casio, yeah. Casio, that's a good Irish name, isn't it? <laughs> well, I mean, everyone had a Casio, I'm sure, at some point. Like, it's like one of those, like, Christmas presents that, like, an aunt gives you because you, they heard you like music once. Yeah, so here we see, like, the start, the beginning of the, the diary here. Hmm. So, yeah, like, it, it's, as Neil said, it's, the whole gimmick is basically kind of like, you're just, you're wiping the diary clean in the way in a, in a way mm-hmm. and this is a very cheerful looking main character waiting for the bus as you do <laughs> and as we know from real life you could be waiting there for a fucking eternity <laughs> <laughs> and then two of them will come along at the same time indeed although that would be far too efficient for a bus errand yeah True. It'd be one from the day before that broke down and only got going again. Yes. <laughs> Many wouldn't let you Who here has been on a bus that they look, went Your earliest well. memory is your da lifting you up on the beach. <laughs> and uh, number two, you finished two goals of college. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is our you don't need yeah, this, nice this, people who bully you. Ah, uh, it'll go through it now. Yeah. 
again, it's, it's one of those weird things where like the, the the point on the left actually stands out more, even though it's the, it's the fourth one. Like it's yeah, there's very like very deliberate choices in the in the dialogue sometimes, and I I quite like that. Oh, yeah. So there's a kind of our. So you're jumping right ahead to age fifty two. Okay. <laughs> no, it's man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it's it can be annoying. Like if you forget to wipe something in the middle, then yeah. it won't kick in. But yeah, it gets there in the end. There, look. So see the little cross next to breed. That's oh, for the glossary. Yeah. So ah. that and castle bar there. So Irish terms or Irish names or places or stuff like that will have that kind of on them. But why didn't hmm. Winning Streak have one of them? So surely that's an Irish thing. <laughs> oh no, w- Winning Streak is syndicated worldwide. There's actually like. And Marty Whelan in every con- in every country in the world. Just we don't notice it. <laughs> Just magnificent, magnificent, yeah, mustaches. Great mustaches. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to have a, do you want to try that again? Or no, I'm going to drink, I'm going to drink more. You do that, yes. you do that. Make sure to reinforce your natural stereotype. Can't do big words, drink cans. So look at it, it'll be grand. Yeah. The only thing she kept of that was the Sunday jacket. <laughs> ah, the brown bread recipe. Yep. Does every, does every family have one? Yeah. yeah. Scoops. Got a few scoops down the public lads. Okay, so what's the uh, glossary on this? It's on, it's on ga, but as it turns out, John, did you not click on all the glossary things? I, I didn't click on them for, for sake of convenience. Um, oh man! Uh, How are we going to explain Debs there? Look. Well, oh, we do God, have Keem. commentary to go with. Like we are talking over the game. Yeah, Keem, look at that. Ah, oh, Keem Beach is such a nice place. So I guess this is the yeah. This yeah, is the look, There's pure there. Irish, pure Irish. There, fine, fine. Fine, yeah. fine, 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 yeah, fine, fine. Grant, be grant. Grant, yeah, grant so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> glossary on key, come on. No, no, he doesn't click on it. It goes on to basically describe that Irish tea is this kind of hyper caffeinated variant. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very special type of tea. And also, there was a glossary thing on hot water bottles as well. Yeah. I was like, what? Who, who knew that hot water bottles was a cultural icon in Ireland? Clearly, just doesn't translate across the globe. Yeah, so this recounts the uh, events around her dad's death and his wake. Mm. Yes. Including explaining what a wake is. Uh, Jonathan. <laughs> yep. They did for Kim Bay. Kim Bay is not... There you go. He doesn't do it for Kim Bay. Uh, did you even play this game? <laughs> <laughs> this is me playing the game. This is the gameplay. There we go. So yeah, there's a keyword there. Uh, the spelt like that. Yeah. Hmm. So there you go. So like I said, it's like uh, it's uh, it's one of the kind of reoccurring themes of the game. But like uh, you'll notice there that Colin has a boyfriend. So that is a uh, that is quite important to the plot. Yeah. So again, yeah, as Neil said, this is all based on uh, on Ackle Island. So uh, again, that's also yeah, quite important to the plot. You, you missed out on the glossary of um, Abandoned Village, which describes where the village is uh, near Shleave Moor. Ah, yes. There we go. Yeah, the Banshee. The Banshee. <laughs> again, the art is so good because like, it, it is done like on a proper coffee book with doodles. Like It's so... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every way of doing it. No, I'm loving the art. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I quite like the way they've just introduced like a gay couple right off the bat, very mm. easily into yeah. it. Just whoosh. so there, you've missed out on the big house, which is glossary term. That's just basically a big parochial house. So just think the house yeah. from Father Ted. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. And yeah. also, if you notice back there, it's grand had a <laughs> glossary term. They do go in and explain what it's grand means. Well, it could yes. mean anything to be fair. Oh, maybe yeah. There you go. Maybe this month will be grand. Oh. Oh, black oh. hole. <laughs> mm-hmm. Time for done. <laughs> yeah, the black hole is a is a is a reoccurring um little uh I suppose it's a segue is the best way of kind of calling it Neil, isn't it? Like it's just like yeah, I'm totally black hole. Yeah. The music's really nice. It's very nice ambient, but doesn't really force itself on everything quite like yeah. that. It's also paced really well, too. Like, mm. it, it does pick up when it needs to and then doesn't, like... It's only really, like, whenever something... Actual shit's going down, does it actually pick up the pace. So it is well done. So, again, I, I know it's been it's been kind of alluded to a little bit here and there in the uh, in the dialogue so far, but the, the main, like, uh, cut and thrust of the Cassio character is that she's trans saying she's a trans woman and yeah. if i'm right in saying if i'm right in assuming that this is the first time she's been back home since she's changed yeah. roughly yeah she has yet to explain to her is there so this plan that she's thinking of is how to yeah. talk to her mother through it mm. and this could go like you know you don't know in 1990s ireland how this yes. is gonna go when we are Still in the death rolls of Catholic dogma, which is obviously gone now in this grand age of 2021. We don't have that problem anymore. Uh, there is no church anymore. Look at that, my wee pet. No glossary on that. Like, people are going to look at that and think, like, something is pissing dog? themselves. <laughs> <laughs> my, wee, my, my, my wee pet, stop pissing on the cat. It's really annoying. <laughs> There is, I will say the dialogue is very, very natural. Like yeah. it is, it is written as you'd expect for an Irish uh, man me to say. Like, and uh, to all of our uninitiated viewers, the Irish mammy is one of the most terrifying creatures in in the world. <laughs> and uh, th- like this will not probably not come across in the game, but if you do come across one and you survive, well done. Actually, well done. Mm-hmm. Well, watch out for the wooden spoon. Oh, oh geez. Luke, look, talk about Luke got a very jo- good job in Castle Bar, working for the bank. You could be working at the post office. So again, like the art style is very good for these little transitions where like the actual, this is how the, the scene is playing out. So it is yeah. just like, you have this text and it just jumps in and the next scene is right in the background there and it just keeps seamlessly going through like the art style is fantastic in this it really is five grand a year in the 90s Jesus minted there look she says she's going back for the PhD mm. uh. you see how it's and reflected all the hollowness and the, the conversations come out of it yeah and again I, I love again dialogue is very natural here it's the <laughs> The the Again, dialogue is like, pet. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> but again, this is the this is the uh, the whole note. Like, this is a very like this is very close to the bone in terms of like conversations you would have. You know, it's just like I want to be this. It's like, would you not go for a job that makes sense? Actually, yeah, just look, go for a job full stop. I don't understand the whole alternative thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Liveline, Liveline's got a glossary. <laughs> oh, John, did you not click on Liveline? They... I, I am not uh... exposing the rest of the world to Liveline. Fuck that. Like, Jesus Christ, there's enough moaning in the world. You don't know how to have And there, look, there we go, look. So yeah, you can, again, the great, the key thing here is the music is changing because the conversation is yeah. going in a way that Cassio doesn't like. Oh, 
Oh, the music is class. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Like again, like it's it's a weird thing where like 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 the the man is not, is not a bad person. It's just like an island mentality. It's the acolyte mentality. So it's like it, this is it's all the old know. Irish mentality. Yeah. yeah, it's like any like oh look what Dublin has done to you. Like that genuinely sounds like the uh, for me self it would have been like a double, not a class anymore. Yeah. Oh no, it's it's it, that would be an equivalent. It's like, no, well, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you going? Was like I was blamed on that's what college does to you, makes you. I am your mother. <laughs> I'm your mother. Oh shit! Check me. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Again, bear, like bear in mind, like neither neither of these people are just like are not in the wrong. It, they just have like this is the clash there, and yeah, neither are. How's there not love for Wayne? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> you wouldn't have clicked on it anyway. <laughs> I I am upset. I'm getting slandered for for not extending half an hour to the gameplay. I'm sorry, lads. All right, play the game. It's it's a fiver. Play the game for yourselves. <laughs> So yeah, we they she ran away from home, just straight up. Uh -huh. Yeah, the drowned rat. I'm really enjoying this so far. Hmm. Again, I love it is I love the sudden air changes. It's like yeah. it, like it, there's very little like um um unneeded dialogue. Like if they wanted to get a mood over, they just draw draw it the way they want to, you know. And it it it, it works because like it like look at this like that's just like a simple scene here of like well this is the fucking this is the mindset. This is what she's thinking, you know, or indeed not thinking at this rate. Oh, back hole, drink. Up. Oh. Everybody in the hole. Drink. So, like I said, this is kind of the cut and trust of the game, where like um, the basically it keeps cutting back to Cassio in like the future, supposedly taking on this black hole. So that's what they. So in a way, like it's kind of jutting back from like the present to the past in a way. Uh, the Cassiopeia is from Castle Bar. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's clearly what you got the name from and not the consolation. <laughs> so there seems to be like someone else trying to communicate. Um, but yeah. uh, it's not going too well. So someone's trying to summon a cat by going. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, they misheard her name initially and thought it was like a Doctor Cat. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> because they kept calling her pet earlier. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's it. It's all consistent. Yeah, the whole game's just one basic subversion for a cat invasion of the planet. <laughs> yeah. And to be fair, that does. Come this is the, this is the kind of incidental background music that I actually like the most. This yeah. kind of little drift drifty thing, you know. Sounds like yeah. something I'd hear like on a fucking Mogwai album or something. <laughs> Again, I just I just I just like how things are done with the with the art style. It's just like there's no necessary animation at this. It's just done with like stills and it's so well done. It's a very clever way of, of storytelling. Yeah, no, it's the, the gimmick of it and all is very good. Yeah. The big house, yeah. and, and that's exactly what they did. They she ran away to Father Ted's house. Oh, 
Oh, Coochie Christmas. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> of course she's that... gone up to Dublin. No, BK's up to Dublin. <laughs> She, she's gone up to, she's gone up to Dublin and she's never come back. Oh look at that look. Rashers has a glossary. Yes. <laughs> Don't know what Rashers is. Rashers basically is Irish bacon. It's big, thick fucking chunks of the shit. Oh, I think it's like half a pig for anyone who initiated. <laughs> nice wee baseline slit in there. Hmm. And again, and, and again, you might have noticed the music is incremental. Like it does, can, it does change as you roll through the scene. But so also, like, she's with the band now, and this is more of a band instrumental kind of yeah. orient- version yeah. of the thing. It's now got, jamming, yeah. it's got bass and drums. Mm. It also have a, you also have a, like a scene like this, for example, where like oh. there's more. Yeah, you can kind of on. move through the sort of comic line of. Yeah. yeah. Jonathan, are you controlling God or is that? No, no, no that's, this is him it, controlling yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Great camera, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously that's uh, it's Colin's boyfriend. So Jack. this is basically, obviously this is the influence of having a, uh, a comic book artist. Yeah. So all of these are the same, they're disparate panels on the same storyline that you can look at in any order. Yeah. So that this is Shans. Shans is the uh, other, the third member of the band. Uh, so you know. If not, put the glossary on fry up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> sure enough. Yes, we've got tomato, we've got mushrooms. Where's my pudding? Uh, there's no fry up, but it would and uh, I think it's an Easter egg. Should up you with your to fry. <laughs> I put the toaster back in that cupboard. <laughs> so that's it. Like, again, this is the kind of the. Uh, the, the nice thing about it is that like our character's kind of going like look oh. you've missed out on the angelus the angelus has got no a fucking glossary yeah. term no people, need know know people need no to know what the angelus is people need to know what the angelus is no one does I know. Many many you know by the mid by the midway through this place you're gonna get a ra- that's because they're eating them all <laughs> oh, fair, 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 fair. no because they didn't hit the glossary option the rashes are just like eliminated from this from the comic yeah because no one knows yeah, like, what they are. And also, Mam would have had a fit. Yeah. See, we need we now need to fill in the job of the glossary because he just didn't do our job properly. We are commentating on the playthrough. That's the whole point. <laughs> this playthrough is crap. You did. You missed the glossary. <laughs> in a game with minimal gameplay, I'm still getting criticised. Absolutely, you've managed to play it wrong. All you have to do is run an eraser across the screen and you fuck. I got that wrong. <laughs> Fucking paddies, honestly. Best <laughs> spot. Oh my god. So basically, this is the band are basically um, comforting Cassio about her argument. Um, given that they're all, they're gay and they're non-binary themselves. They've all been through this before. She's welcome there. Boom. So she has a home. Yes. And, and there it is. It really is the it really is the father Ted quote. Look at that. That's by the way a wonderful picture. Oh. Shut up, everybody. Oh look at that. Mm. Lovely. Yeah. Like one artist did all this herself hand drawn. It's just fucking incredible, like. Yeah. Uh, like even the, the little transitions between the like mm-hmm. the lights. Oh, uh, the black hole. Well, <laughs> nah, you've just erased the side of a building. <laughs> Look, toy show. You missed out oh, the toy show. Oh, you oh, missed oh, out oh, the toy show. He hasn't yet. He hasn't yet. He might still. No, he didn't. See, no. he fucked it. Uh, he fucked it. Uh, <laughs> so the toy show is a tradition of kids getting to stay up late and be really hyper. 
about a month before Christmas in order mm-hmm. to watch Dust the Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just oh look there, look the Irish. You didn't. You actually missed oh. out the slam. Slam means goodbye. In case anybody's yes. wondering, slam is Irish for goodbye. And gra means my love. Mm-hmm. Awkward silence. Awkward silence. Awkward silence. Awkward silence. Awkward silence. 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 As you can tell, oh, this oh, is the silence. point where Cassio and Shans have been left on the couch as the other lovebirds there. Oh, by the way, tip there, as John's missed out, tip is short for Tipperary. Yes. And crack is short for crack cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> no, not cocaine. What's the other one? Raisins. There we go. I don't know what they actually had down for crack. Just... We'd never know because Jonathan didn't click on it. Nope. You'll never know, lads. Can you really explain crack? Like... No. It's a philosophical question at the end of the day, really. Again, I can't get over column, the spelling of column. <laughs> You'll get used to it. That'd be deadly. Again, that should have maybe have an asterisk. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Which should have been a crucifix. <laughs> There's actually something really weird about the actual like asterisk being like a, a tiny cross. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's little. This is really Irish. <laughs> it should have been just a little potato, just as your asterisk instead. It's illegal now, anyway. By the way, this was 1993. It wasn't legal up until recently before this. A little bit of continuity error there. (laughs) Nogging. That's a bright word. Bright word. Shifting. Leaving there is a leaving cert, as in uh, it's the final school exam. Mm -hmm. And a chipper is a chip shop. Well, what is a chip shop? It's something the Brits don't have now because they don't own any any potatoes. (laughs) Well, there's your answer why um, why they use an English word. They're from... uh... Manchester. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's James trying to pick a hole through dialogue and shut down straight away. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So then it, it all kind of ties into the the whole thing where like she's like reminiscent about school, but at the same time, like like she hasn't seen anyone from her class. And to be fair, like what would she what, what would she have to have to discuss? Like, you know, because she's completely different to what she was, like what, maybe a year or two beforehand. Hmm. <laughs> Libraries. Nerd. Nerd. Computers? Did they even have computers in the 90s? They had one. You had to rent it out. Like an extra vision. Yeah. <laughs> they were playing those new, new hot games like uh, Police Quest 3 and uh, <laughs> Castlevania. Well, actually, 93, like in three years, Half Life dropped, you know? Fair point, yeah. Half Life dropped in 96. Their Ihawat means good night in Irish, yeah, not my- Gaelic. No, ma. My. You know why, you fucking prick? <laughs> I will. I don't even speak Irish, and I'll fight you on this. <laughs> Coming out of that Ulster twang there. Bay. Scott. F- get off. out. Go up to the new room. Fuck off. <laughs> You're banned from this Fenian place. <laughs> Oh. Mhm. I fell. Okay. Yes. So this is the next night then. No, yes. this, what they sweep through days with these kind of things. So this is December 9th and then 10th there'll be one section, 11th right. so on and so forth. This is a way of covering lots of days in kind of one transition yeah. without you thinking, "Oh, hang on, this is all over the place." 
yeah like like i said it is kind of a diary thing so like the more prominent days are kind of almost like chapters in their own right whereas you might have a week where nothing happens let's say there she gave the band the <laughs> ultimate insult <laughs> By saying that they sounded like Bon Jovi. The immersion doesn't work. Oh, fuck. Why would the immersion not have an asterisk? Yeah. Immersion heater is fairly common, I'd reckon. There, Mrs. McGinty. In a field. The field. The field. She was whistle sharp. (laughs) Dirty bitch. There, the guard stares, asterisk. Mm-hmm. The guard. And guard is mm-hmm. Yeah. James, that's not how it's pronounced. It's pronounced Ngardi. <laughs> there, oh, Pete. Guard, uh, two. Mm-hmm. Pete Ngardi. Briquettes there. Oh, Pete Briquettes. Where half, what is, uh, half the country is fueled by, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Not anymore now, but uh, back in the 90s, oh, no, I, oh I, yes. I, I stand by what I said. <laughs> Make it a comeback, Neil. Uh, Let's look at cure. So again, again, it's it. That's why like these days are coming quite quickly because like the the character is is having a good time. It's like le- legit, like just relaxed. Time to write in a diary. Yeah, she's having the banter. She's having the crack. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't know what the crack is. is it <laughs> we'll never know. Then sorry. A crossery. Glossary, I said. Yeah, but there, there's a, a, a crossery. Dugart, uh, Dugart Beach there is in the asterisk there, which you missed. Well, what about a rhubarb? <laughs> Never know what rhubarb is. Why does rhubarb is <laughs> I don't know, maybe like rhubarb is culturally important in that Island. Ah, look, know. selection boxes. You missed out on selection Yay. boxes. <laughs> An Irish <laughs> institution. <laughs> You had to have at least. I mean, like, even I clicked on selection boxes when I was playing this. Good <laughs> for you. Well done. Yeah. And here's the so odd John, character bio. Word for us. We're not <laughs> going through the glossary. So as we can see, like sorry is written across column. There's a mm. bit of foreshadowing there, and yeah. this is basically a character bio on him. Okay. So there, his loves are base walking, walking base lines. Mm. Awkward and nervous. Yeah. Okay. So again, he has a he's a great sense of humor, you know, perfect for the madness crowd. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Fergal has Fergal has dropped off a letter there. Mm. Oh shit! Mm. So as you can see, we've transitioned to December the thirteenth. Had not really lost a whole lot, but still have kept up with it. That's yeah. that's why I quite like this mechanism. Because again, it's quite realistic. You might have just have days where nothing bad happens to you in a way. So now it's time to rob our house. Yep. They're going to go back and get our things. They're going to rob the gif. Fantastic. So that's the... So at this point, the nuns come in and uh, destroy the whole place at the end. Yeah, those sexy armed <laughs> nuns from the Hitman game. And that's <laughs> Yeah, they wanted to get in and clear out a septic tank before. The oh. <laughs> Come on, that only happened once. Too <laughs> soon, man. Too soon. Yeah. <laughs> so there, look, my dear yeah. son. son. And I don't know how to explain that. That's not what she thinks or what I want. Mm. Right as rain. But that's, that's the thing it's, it's a very Irish Rami mentality is the fact like oh it's just a phase you're going through and you'll be fine after yeah. a while once you just have a few prayers like it's 
Yeah. Again, like it, I've, I did notice some things you might want to talk about when you come back, hmm. but never apologizes. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> janky hinge. By the bog road, lovely. How did janky hinge not get a? <laughs> <laughs> I think janky is quite self-explanatory. You know, it's onomatopoeic, really, when you look at it. Like pure jank. Mm. <laughs> Again, this is. <laughs> I did in the last sure frame. It did in the last frame. In yeah. the last frame, it did yeah. I do like as well how like the actual the fashion is very on point for 1993. <laughs> yes. The Bog Road High School. I love it. <laughs> okay, I, I do feel I love, I do love how well how it's like they have this big like dramatic name and then just like the chillest like music for it, you know. <laughs> Well, friends going off on an adventure. Well, this is on the walk up to it, you know, the walk in the nice early morning walk. Nice, as as you would do on a on a cold winter, cold December evening. I'm gonna rob a house. It's my own house, so therefore it's fine. <laughs> yeah, this is also me trying to find if there's any like other similar Easter eggs, but I don't <laughs> think there's any. No, I don't think it's a thing. Mm. So here she's gone through memories of her home, you know. Yeah. The apple par apple tart or apple crumble. Ah, look, Bosco! You missed out, Bosco! 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 The puppet, the red-haired puppet of people's ah. dreams and nightmares. Both in equal measure, yes. <laughs> ah, look here. Killing. Aww. Aww. I had a dog, Molly. And he's crying. Oh, it didn't look like that. Che cheers, mate. James is crying. Again, this is what I love it. it it's like with, with some of the writing, the actual emotional punch is just in one line. Yeah. And leave it there, like it just leaves it hanging. And a picture and a lovely little picture and then that's it. That's it, yeah. Those, is, those th simple things very, very well. And now the heist begins. Music hasn't changed, so it must all go swimmingly. Absolutely. Again, I, I love the aerosol here because, like, it's in the dark, and yeah, why is it looks like are trying to adjust? It's fucking well done. Oh, no, the heist can be fine. It'll be the aftermath of the heist. Yes. The fallout, as it were. Yeah. I love that the uh, the shirt on the right there is nearly a Pokemon, but not quite enough to get to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's getting there. Oh, yeah, it wasn't in 93 in Ireland anyway. No. No, that was the uh, that was the that was the real pandemic, folks. Again, I love that key. I love that that's that line there, just right in the middle, because like you there, like feeling kind of really nostalgic and kind of like a bit conflicted about certain things like the bed there but then the actual the, still the overlying line for the entire scene is it never felt like mine yeah you know and you and you, again you're just having all these different thoughts as you go through the room it's just it, again it's a very it's a very good it's a very smart choice it's a very, very good way of doing it because again it's it's one of the main kind of I suppose character traits of Cassio she's just very conflicted but as you I suppose you would be in the situation The passport being erased. Yeah, she no longer resists. Oh, this should be good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. Yeah. And here is Fergal. Hmm. So, I don't, I don't know if it comes across, but Fergal is the, uh, the big heel of this game. Yeah. And obviously comes across then when uh, 
whenever Cassio is talking about him. Stop Shane. Mm -hmm. Stop Shane. What's the Stop Shane name? Never know. We never know. Uh, Look, in fairness, I can kind of see from that point of view. Hmm. Fretting. That's such an Irish mammy thing to do. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's even something to do if you are even getting robbed. It's like, oh, geez, I hope they don't take the nice forks. It's like, yeah. <laughs> your words. <laughs> take action. They're all like you. Hmm. They all like music. The devil's tunes. I hear they're all Protestants. <laughs> <laughs> and when you go so in and open their cupboards. Hmm. Uh, at some stage. Oh, dark. Hmm. So as you can guess there, uh, Fergal has not taken too kindly to this uh to to her to his new sister. Um very much a very much a, a product of his uh of his uh, of his town. Whitehall drink. Yep. <laughs> Can't. So, I I didn't realise that was a rule. Well, you have some catching up to do then. Apparently so, yes. Oh, we're back to the cat whisperer. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> hearing me and Neil how know how this uh, game ends, I I'm willing to call him the cat whisperer from now on. I think it's <laughs> a lot of character. Don't think we're a million miles off the truth. No, in fairness. Control. Mm. <laughs> Come here and get your food, you fucking muggy. <laughs> get out of that hole and get into the kid. Get into that fucking kitchen and eat your dinner. I mean, if this is an Irish, like, you know, radio control, that is mm -hmm. how it would be done. It's like, As we can see, the music has gone all craft worky. Yeah. Mm. Music is fantastic so far. Yeah. I would listen to a soundtrack of this. I think the soundtrack is available to buy, if I'm not mistaken. Anomalies. Yes. A trajectory. It's usually unusual. It's going to intersect with Earth in 24 days. Oh my god, it's stunning Darko. It's going to eat the planet whole, and then it's going to eat me. So the thing that we saw at the end, is this now going back in time to how this started? Well, you'll see. You'll get to see. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, there is, the game kind of has an, an internal logic for its own timeline. So, like, as Neil said, you'll, it'll kind of unravel as time goes by. You'll, you'll realise that, like, the, the, two, the two stories take place at different times, but it's very good. Hmm. <laughs> on the bog road heist and now here this is the section where you actually sweep the storyline from left to right yeah okay ah oh, chips <laughs> oh yeah and yeah you can buy the soundtrack on steam yeah, yeah. six quid okay not bad mm -hmm. to mind that got across don't get stars like this in the big schmork. You don't. In fairness, big you don't. Big schmork doesn't get a, a cross rate. Hmm. You lost as well. The, you lost as well the actual cons, the consolation of Cassiopeia is there and the mm -hmm. top left. And here we are, Niles. Is it more wonderful an institution than a chipper in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. Like literally, it's just feeding like the five people that still live in the town. There, look, totally with Jans there. Ferial's a fucking tool. Mm. But 
But again, and, and again, the weird thing is, like, Virgil's a very, like, um, I don't know, uh, uh, what's the best way? Hate-filled it? moron character. Yes, it's a very easy character to to understand because he just doesn't accept new things. It's just not. His, it's he's not made up. He's he, he doesn't. Um, a grumpy old lad. It's nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly it. It's like it is a kind of thing where like they, they become their dad way too quickly and have. Also, oh my god, do you remember this poster? Yeah, the fish. I was about to say that the fishes of the Atlantic poster was in every fucking chipper in the country. Oh my mm. god, I, I love it. Monty. Oh, that nostalgia, like, that is fantastic. It's a nostalgia here. Yeah. <laughs> I remember nostalgia. Again, you, you, you can tell this is written by an Irish person, can't you? Like, it's, uh, yes. yeah. they're all working on the same level here. Like, are they drinking a bottle of Cadet right now? <laughs> oh, a I, bottle I choose to believe. TK Red Lemonade. Yeah. Okay, dumb thing, I guess. <laughs> oh, it's not just a dumb thing. Like, Cadet, like the little bottle of... Oh, no. my red lemonade. No. Ah. Uh, TK, like uh, the red TK. Yeah, kind of, yeah. I was, I was more of a TK person myself, but I think both are very are valid, depending on where that, you are. All the way, cadet lemonade, all the way, baby. I see that we now have a split in the camp. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks, in the, in the section, ending here, we can't decide on which red lemonade we want. There, look at that. Mm. Shans there, Shans's mother had to sign a letter to the priest that all the kids were being raised Catholic because she was living in uh, Manchester. Mm. Oh, Christ. Catholics are weird, lads, aren't that's they? That's not how you spell it. <laughs> yeah, it's how the English <laughs> spell it. N E E L. That's right, yeah. N E A L, I believe. No, double E. Is it E O? Yeah, double E. That's worse. <laughs> so, what's worse is when they Englishify Irish names. That really. That that makes me like slightly like woozy. I ha- I had fun in college trying to get uh, Brits to pronounce names like Maheen. Um There we go. And here's Shan. Here's Tara. This is Shan's little sister. Hmm. Find the story, Jonathan. <laughs> and shockingly, she sounds. <laughs> Nine little sister, right? See, years, years there. You yeah, missed out. You missed out on years. <laughs> Between the controls being janky as fuck, <laughs> the controls are not janky. It's just the person on the other end is yeah, sorry, literal human yeah. embodiment of jank. I'm trying to find <laughs> Easter eggs because they've done this before. I'm trying to find it anymore. I'm trying to explore the game, people. Sorry for, for sacrificing the glossary. We're not exploring the game, though. You're not exploring the game. Exactly, yeah. You've missed the glossary. <laughs> glossary. I think there's more important things in the game than the fucking glossary. What, like fucking sweeping the camera all over the kip like you've, you're having a fit? To try and find secrets? Yes. Pfft. The game's about secrets. Fucking faces about secrets. <laughs> Headed cabbage. Yeah, yeah, I use your word against you. How does that make Here, you feel, Neil? Here's the origin of Shans now. Mm. Neil Ain, Shans is a gum. Nah. Which nobody will ever know. Exactly. Oh, oh okay. Mm. Mm. I was expecting Shannon. Nope. He's yeah. Shan. So he's a uh, Indian, part Indian. Grew up in Manchester, living in Ackill Island. Ooh. That's mm. probably the least believable part of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's always a kind of weird thing where, like, it, the, Ireland mental- the island mentality, they're probably accepted because they run the chipper. Otherwise, they wouldn't be spoken yeah. to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jesus, it was like big news the first time every Irish town got a foreigner. Like, it, that's that, that's kind of what we're dealing with here. And that's not long ago, lads. That's 30 years. Like, Yeah, that's like, oh, we can have an Indian now. Yeah, that's it. Like, oh, we have an Indian. We have a Polish one. We have a gay one now. It was like, cool. So does the rest of the world. What was in Ackle Island to draw people to move there, to be fair? like Lots of rocks. Rocks, yeah. <sighs> 
No. I love the hands. Look, like, that's a br- that was a brilliant section of our hands coming closer yes. together here. I was thankfully able to get a talk to that due to Jonathan's crap controlling. <laughs> <laughs> I got there in the end, lads. You know, I, I, I had to <laughs> had to make it all work. Out. The only thing more awkward than these two people exploring their feelings for each other is you controlling it. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think it works with the theme, you know. It's just like I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get into, into character, you know. Can't believe in a game with no gameplay. I'm still being criticised for how I played it. <laughs> like if you could control this with a steering wheel, I'm sure you'd do better. <laughs> I'd have injured himself. Yeah, I would have pulled me fucking hamstring again. Yeah. <laughs> So still looking for secrets. Nope, nothing around. So again, again, it's it's it kind of puts a bit on Shan's character as well in the fact that like yeah, look at that little sis wants her to stay over. I leave it mm. now. <sighs> and yeah, off the pop. No secrets. So it's basically just showing like the difference between a family that readily accepts their child for who they are and And also who are outsiders themselves as well, given yeah, the exactly. half Indian kind of heritage of it, it you know. Like, yeah. Like White. White hole. Yep, white hole. Take drink. a drink. And and yes, it is it is very much part of the Irish culture to drink whenever we see a white hole, just so you <laughs> In a weird way, like Jack is the one character we don't see that much of early on. It's a kind of odd one. Like he is kind of like um, the one that like Cassie kind of le- speaks the least to, but mm-hmm. in a way, but not in not a negative Look, way. They watched into the West in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> wished, pronounced wished. Into the Why did West. Not get a, a crossery. That's because that supersedes all meaning. Exactly. <laughs> also, we are calling it the crossery from now on. Yeah. They all signed on. Yeah, they did. <laughs> it's called Fun Employment Buys. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so shockingly, the landlords are trying to take back the house. Who knew? Uh, Not like the cans. He missed the glossary on cans. Unbelievably. You missed the cans. You missed the glossary. They don't know what we mean by cans. They don't know what Irish mean by cans. Look, look, they went to bingo and everything for fuck. How Irish can you get? You can be Irish and without have cans. You just have to understand how beautiful they are. All right? Just relax, lads. Okay? Again, you can imagine the dirty looks they're just getting from like all the L ones just playing yeah. being rolling. Who the fuck is Dash? And here we go. Here's the buy on Jack. Mm. Hey. So, so he hasn't he wiped out his face before um, getting to <laughs> yeah. the table? However. <laughs> I suppose he's, like, he's more of a stereotypical character than anything else, really, in a sense. Or at least that's why how it kind of comes across in the game. Sitting around drinking cans. <laughs> look, I will. Yeah, it's down there. Look. Yeah. Very relatable, lads. Everyone's everyone's had this. Hey. Okay. Right down the bottom there, Mahan Bukel, this good boy in Irish. Good man. Good, good man yourself. And Casio was holding a wrench because she's helping. I'm helping. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Shockingly, plumbing and astro- uh, astronomy doesn't have much of crossover, lads. Just, just throwing it out there. Again, I, I like a little. It's glitching out here a wee bit. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Again, I do like the little brackets part there. It's just like, oh, you know, she's. Yeah. The top bosses so are still there. 
the this basically head. is the point in the story. Ah, bollocks there. Missed out yeah. on bollocks. Bollocks. It's okay, lads. Bollocks was imported to America when Colin Meany said on DS9. It's already, in, <laughs> it's already the, in the language. Just the, the latest letter is from Fergal himself. Mm. So, I imagine it was a quite a diplomatic letter, and everything, <laughs> everything went well, and we don't need to talk about it anymore. They're about crap at guy. Mm. <laughs> Again, also a very island thing where, like, they were probably all forced to try it once. And even if everybody, they were everybody out, was, not just on the fucking island. No, I, I, I didn't have that luxury, thank fuck. <laughs> Could blame down my shitty hamstrings. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see now, with all of this, now the house is starting to kind of pile in. Yes. It's all starting it's to fall apart. Quickly at that, at that rate. Mm hmm. Well, it's mm. an old house. Yeah. The nuns have put a curse on it. <laughs> nuns do nuns that, are... right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> After all, what have the nuns ever done for us? I'm miss a, missing my mud group. Yeah, uh, role playing game like yeah, D- D&D. like D and D. All right, thanks. Good. Well, See, you wouldn't have learned that from John wouldn't have learned that from the fucking playthrough there, would you? Because you missed it. <laughs> the fucking glossary. in the other bit of text. <sighs> they look to have not bonfire on Keem Beach. Mm-hmm. Oh, amazing. We should go down after all this is down to Keen Beach and Bourne stuff. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who's played the game, we're going to do the exact same thing at the exact same day just to celebrate it. <laughs> we're going to wait a few, a few months, though, lads, but you know, we'll, mm. we'll make time. We can make time for it. Glad you go through there. They we're coming up for Christmas anyway. <laughs> here's the, here's the letter. Finish on Christmas. There, here we go. Mm. I think this is what this is what solidified my hatred of Fergal as a character. Mm. Who are you trying to card? Yeah. yeah, Dawson. There, look at that. He's rubbing it in that she didn't get her PhD. Yeah. Yeah. But again, like again, it, it's a very understandable mentality in a sense that like he thinks it in just pragmatism. He doesn't think of like follow your dreams because that's the way he's been raised. That's the way he's drilled. It's just like be functional, be useful, and stop being and don't have dreams. Basically, <laughs> don't you, don't have any other intentions you, you of being what you are. The, like the anger is coming from a place where he does care, but his care might be just for himself and the perception that the island yeah. would have for him. Yeah. Yes, so absolutely. One, that that kind of comes across a little bit in, later on. And yeah. here we are. It's gig night. Yep. Ooh, nice base. Oh, wait, it gets better. I think it's fair to say, Neil, this is probably the, the centerpiece of the game. Easily. Again, they have such a fun gig in Ackle Island, it's still a bit jarring though. Well, it's actually not in Ackle Island, it's on, it's on oh, the mainland. Yeah. It's in Castle Bar. Slightly better. Colin has a bit left in his knee, but he's fine otherwise. <laughs> I do love as well that their musical instruments suit their personality as well. It's very fitting. Mm. Oh, the artwork is yeah. phenomenal. Mm. Love it. So. So again, it's just the, the way they the way they kind of put the crowd over here is very well done. Like you do get a sense of like of the place, of the atmosphere. I wanna go to a gig. Oh, yeah. so desperately. Remember the Jippo lads? Oh. <laughs> now, that was a kip. <laughs> here we go. Here's the main act. Yeah. Wow. Mm. 
So again, I, I, again, I, I love this section in particular because it really gets over uh, Kazuya's kind of like, I, I suppose the, the sexuality aspect of it in that she's like she doesn't quite know herself. The, the Nosferatu. Yeah. The heaviest band in male. Ah, that's my Yeah. She's getting crushed after all. Aw, oh, being crushed in a pit. <laughs> what I wouldn't do to get back there. Great quarantine, that's what I wouldn't do. Nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then off we go. <laughs> Remember Danton? <laughs> Danton is banned under the new order. Until she turns around and realizes she's made a holy show of herself and everyone's been staring at her. Cassio, <laughs> <laughs> you shoot yourself twice. Get off the fucking dance floor. <laughs> Again, just the whole the noise of it is just fucking yeah. Hmm. So she got blackout drunk. <laughs> and this is where I, I... She had the music in her, James. Do you not understand these things? The house lights. Oh, the okay. horror. And then the they, horror. They are on the bean playing. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan wouldn't have detected that. <laughs> Surely this gig was too cool for the National Anthem, right, lads? Uh, Could have played something more appropriate, like uh, Zombie or something. Oh, look, the Nosferatu are a twosome. Mm. <laughs> again, like, I, again, like, Cassio's a funny one here because, like, she's just trying to, still trying to figure out herself while seeing all this new, new thing, seeing that, like, yeah, no, I, I can do this this is all possible you know so fucking house party mm. a bit of loneliness also, setting in here yeah the the also introverted part of her character is also going shit more people fuck yeah <laughs> didn't think of that the house party where i know there's not a dog to pet and hang out with oh worst thing Yes, I am I'm firmly about... that person who makes friends with the dog at a house party. Oh yeah, mm. 100%. We have actually done that. <laughs> uh, one of Markbot's friends had a house party. Ha and... It was the 21st and we're in the back of all the photos playing with the dog. Mm. We are not in any of the group photos. We are just we are in, the in back every end. dog photo. <laughs> yeah. Up, oh, circle. Drink. Drink. My friends had a horse once, does that count? <laughs> <laughs> Horses do count. They are good boys. Horses are good boys. I'm glad to see Horses are good boys. I love some of the columns like on the couch there is going like, this is fine. I have two people standing up, jumping all over me. This is absolutely normal. Never been to my house party. Also, it's not like they're paying for anything in the house. I also like how the music hasn't changed really with the house party scene to reflect how distant she is from it. Exactly, yeah. She's not part of it. Quieter. With no doggos. Mm. Yeah. It's that, just that a sadness. part of the story so far. Yeah. Into the attic. The lack of doggos. Well, what's left of the attic, in fairness? <laughs> it's a bit, um, big second hand. Oh, looking up at the stars. Oh, and here's Shans as well with her. Hmm. Let's <laughs> go, damn it. God damn it, Dawson. 
Yes, I am the se December 22nd. <laughs> I like that. Like, yeah, I like that transition. Mm. <laughs> I trust the nineties people didn't know smoking was bad for you. Yeah. It was. It was what they did on all those uh, really like recent movies from America, like uh, Good, Bad, and the uh, Ugly. You know. Those, all those There's smoking films. reefer in the attic. Oh, God. God. If the fucking priest found out about that, <laughs> excommunicated, fucking gone, shot out, out of cannon. Anymore. I've tried. We've all tried. Yeah. Fair to say, he would have been moved on to a different parish very fucking quickly. Hmm. <laughs> This is a very, like, uh, very natural way of uh, expressing tripping balls. <laughs> no, it's nice. It's comforting. It's a very tender moment, and you're learning a bit about astrophysics. What's not to love? <laughs> Just like my first time. Now, look, you're assuming time is even real. Hmm. <laughs> Because if you're living in a big house like that, you you're, you're you tiptoe around questions like that. <laughs> even though, even with Chan's like kind of living with a, a gay couple, even he still kind of isn't sure how to how to phrase a question to a again, trans like, person. Yeah, yeah, like it's um because again, like even that like is unusual in of itself. Like you could have like it's easy to get in that environment. Now you're throwing like a as it were a, a trans person into that. It should be the same, but again, it's 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 so new and different in especially in that time. Yeah, it's like natural to be a bit extra. Like, like the terms that we have now and the various kind of descriptors that we have and that we would mm. use, um, like you know, I don't know if they like, and this is just me being completely like out of the loop, I suppose. But yeah, would they've even had the proper like. Phraseology we would have. Now, lesbians came from lesbian back then. <laughs> you also have to realise that there are certain like groups of people who are so oppressed they literally have to invent the language of their own oppression. Yeah. Mm. There, here we are into the Shams. He's pretending, apparently. Yeah. So I, I quite enjoy the Shan's character because it, his identity crisis really comes across. Like I think he's like the most. I think he's probably the well most well written character of the lot. I think it's because we're getting into. So we introduce a lot of um, uh, kind of subgroups here, and mm. so Casio is trans. Jack and Colin are gay. Ishan or Shan's here. Shan's is actually non-binary. Yeah, but it's never stated until I think until the very end. There isn't the term, like we were saying about terminology and phraseol phraseology, because yeah. the phrase doesn't actually exist here. It's never referred to. And even he doesn't know, or even they don't know yeah. how to refer to themselves. Whereas I think it, what was mentioned earlier, it was like the lads up on the, up on the stage did well, because I think in Ireland, that's a very gender neutral um, oh, yeah. kind of phrase. Oh, yeah. Um, I try to be as inclusive when I talk to people. I say folks a lot, um, <laughs> uh, and I, I was told by people that, like, you know, you know, we're not offended if you call us lads because you know everyone's lads in Ireland. I was like, okay, well, now that I'm in in the know, thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> Down with the kids. <laughs> yeah, that's what all the cool. That's what all the cool kids do. Yeah. <laughs> and here we go back to Cassiopeia. Back to the plot, it seems.
So again, it was it was funny you mentioned there about time because uh, yeah, she just mm-hmm. dis- just vanished for a week, pretty much. So this is um, I'm imagining a drug fueled imagination game. This is a drug fueled suicide. Ooh. Ooh. This is two interesting fast. shouts, but uh, again, much like Question of Sport, lads, you're gonna have to wait until it plays out to see what happens. <sighs> This is like all the, like all, everything fire the whole strength to be able to Yeah. <laughs> or this is the coma after she got bet by her man. Yeah. Wooden spoon. <laughs> yeah. With the rolling pin, obviously. Oh, if you got the rolling pin out, then you know you're in trouble. <laughs> you're, you're stone fucking dead. It's just a charity point. <laughs> so there, now we've found out that the Positron uh, origin is Earth. Yeah. And by the way, just a, just as a brief spoiler, um, she doesn't get beaten up with the rolling pin because she left, ran away from home. It's because she left a fucking immersion on. She left the immersion on, yeah. Well, All that's, night. That's All night. Then I'm on the man's side then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when she broke in for the great caper, for the uh, bog road, for the bog road uh, uh, heist, heist, yeah. Uh, that's when she turned on the immersion. Uh, that's it. Going, oh, sorry. It's, oh, it's been going family. ever since. So that'll teach my family one really annoying ESB bill. There, my work here is done. That's all the power she has. And the and water's at, the water is absolutely boiling out of the taps. <laughs> and you know what else I've done? I've rewritten the tapes of Italian 90 because fuck you. <laughs> oh. Now that's cruel. That's that's fucking cruel. So there, now the event's future location has now been narrowed down to Ireland. <laughs> mm. Has there ever been an apocalypse that happens in Ireland? Like we are like the one of the like least likely candidates for an apocalypse. <laughs> Imagine. Well, imagine, imagine the pandemic coming to Ireland. Like, literally, <laughs> you're just like, oh my god, this meteor is gonna hit Earth. It's like, oh, it's gonna hit right in Ireland. I'd be grand sure. <laughs> grand sure. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I was like, lads, you have, to, you have to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I will, yeah. Okay. I will, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> Malik, you can't even get people out of a burning building if they've got pints. Fuck a meteor. <laughs> To be fair, Neil, I I fancy my chances with the point. Just saying, in that in that in that comparison, Ooh, look, you know, welcome and, comfy. Oh, Here we go. I came to the roof. Oh. Am I drunk or is this Jonathan being janky? <laughs> yes. No, a janky. Bit janky here at the time, it, it evens out a bit. Could be the recorder as well. The back of beyond. Spooning confirmed. Da, da, da. And again, you think this this should be a nice like scene, but oh no, it's not. The music is telling you otherwise. And also, you missed out Egypt. Also, Egypt's misspelled. Mm, yeah, well spelled wrong. Egypt, the Egypt. <laughs> see the different priorities. <laughs> Shans has made up the mind. Yeah. Like he's he's totally lost the run of himself there. Oh. 
again. Look at the just the face of panic. Error. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what an Irish thing. Yeah. Yeah. Again, again, like these are two very understandable characters. But just they just there is just a clash, and and like I said, they're they're both like not really mature enough to deal with it at the minute because they've got their own like personal battles. It's, it's, really? it's they got their own shit to deal with. Yeah, precisely. So now it's not just go to Dublin, it's leave the island. Yeah, that's the key thing. It's just like like Dublin is kind of seen as this kind of like uh this like it's 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 not here essentially. Yeah. It's a, it's far it's the furthest place away from here. So again the, the recorder's probably not like um keeping up with the graphics here a little bit. But yeah, like this is happening like at a much faster like frames FPS than it's coming across. So it's like really distressed, really anxious graphics. Yeah, yeah, definitely picking up on that anyway. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Again, the way the way it picks up like um, and here the way it, we're sweep, here we're sweeping the story the opposite direction from what we did the last time. Yes, so it's gone from right to left. Yeah, mm. and that's what's lost yeah. the camera. Well, it's just those yeah, little things yeah. that really work out so well. Mm. Again, no Easter eggs here to be found. <laughs> <laughs> what Easter egg did you find that you're trying to relive that joy every? It was, it was in the breakfast scene where there was like column just there, like drinking coffee, and it just said coffee, coffee, coffee. Like there's, it seemed to be the only one that was there. Little extra, little scene oh, that wasn't like yeah. you got, got a little achievement. That, yeah. yeah, that's it. So. You didn't want to check the achievements for like getting the boss right? <laughs> the crossery. Crossery. Crossery, James. Get it right, man. Come on. Oh, the group stop. Okay. So this is a uh, column's aunt that we've been introduced to before. The woman from the field. The field. Chasing the sheep. A fierce wind. Fierce mild. Mm. <sighs> Nothing really caused that, just just throwing that out there. <laughs> Everything was fine. Stop asking questions. Again, the, the nice thing about this, like this Maggie character, is that like she totally is on board with Cassio, just generally, like doesn't judge at all, you know. Yeah, but we'll find out why. We will find out why. So she's basically supposed to be hope that like Ireland gets better. I think it's also the difference where like it's not just everyone that thinks this. I think it's all the whole point is that there are people that you can talk to. There are people that will understand you. You know, it's not just like, okay, so some people in your group don't don't um, don't get what what you're on about or whatever like stuff, life choices you want to make. There is someone you can talk to. Like that's always been the case. It's just that you may have either never noticed it or never have, have heard of it, basically. So the fact that they're having this like genuine conversation, it's probably the first time these two have actually properly met. If yeah. I'm right in saying. Well, this. first we've set, met them in the game. Right. But they're. Yeah. Auntie Maggie has realised that they're staying, spending Christmas in the big house. Hmm. And of course, uh, Maggie is uh, is is alone herself, which, being on the island, causes a lot of conversation. Oh, weird. Yeah. Yes. Like what? Is she, she's fifty and she hasn't married yet. Oh, that's a bit strange. Isn't yeah, see, look it? at that. Look, she mentions about Colin and Jack, saying, "Oh, you keep you do things like that in private. We all have our own crosses." Yes. Yeah. Bringing it out in the open caused all his troubles. Mm. Oh. 
and like I said, and, and I, like you, said, you can understand both of these characters' points of view. Like it's the the, the dogma of generations past meeting someone yeah. who doesn't understand why, and ve- that's very very relatable. Like it's a generation, it's a clash of generations, you know. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, you could have just. Where? We are. Again, that's also very like true to life. A lot of people did. <laughs> Yeah, look, they're more alike yeah. than she'd want to admit. Yeah. Like, I, I, like I said, that's why I, I quite like her character as well, because she knows herself, like, what, what her situation is. What well, Irish again. person has a goose for Christmas? Some people go for goose over turkey. What? Yeah. No. It's a thing, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it, for Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to say that to Maggie's face. There we go. St. Stephen's Day there. Glossary term. Yeah. Boxing Ignored. Day, if you're a Brit. Yeah. I think it's Boxing Day worldwide now at this rate. It's kind of been... It's kind of overtaken everything else. Everything about Boston, I believe. So yeah, it's at this point where everything kind of goes to shit. <laughs> Don't overcome the cross. That's a band ruined, I presume. Yep. And there's even people living on our couch, which is so much worse. Great. Right hole. Into the hole. Now here's the bio of Shans. Mm. Manchester music or Manchester and music? There's no, there's a full there. stop there. Yeah. yeah. Black pudding. Oh, I don't like Shans. <laughs> <laughs> Cancelled. Get rid of him. It's okay, Shans. I also like black pudding. It's fine. You're not alone. I love that the last point there is like the biggest. Yeah. This also glitched out for me again, by the way. So it'll get. Yeah. It's coming like it's literally just like there's like a little segment just left. There we go. Really wants to hammer in. Hmm. Like, I see the main point here is that he doesn't like black pudding, so... (laughs) We're getting hung up on our little things here, are we? That's all my eyes are being drawn to. I've seen nothing else. That's more pudding for you. (laughs) (laughs) It's good to know if if Burpa really annoys us, we just, like, throw black pudding at her and just, like, see her, like, wince like the fucking Wicked Witch of the West. It's like, no! (laughs) No, because I just eat it. Why well, you don't? But you don't like it. The band is over. Grand. Yeah. We're the band. The we're getting evicted, and everyone's gonna have a lovely Christmas, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Again, then no one's uh, talking either because uh, you know everything's. Everything is rather, um, you know, rosy this Christmas. Mm. Definitely. If this is a very typical Irish Christmas, though, no? Oh, it is, yeah. Fairness. To be fair, my family's too old to have get, like fucking rows at this point. So it's like, it's like whatever. But I'm sure I'm sure this happens other way, in, in other places. Oh. Thank you, Malik. Mm-hmm. Very important part of a character, loose leaf tea. Just strong out there. Yeah. 
<laughs> Mary two names the bitch. <laughs> I guarantee people just didn't like her because she had two names like that. I can totally Double believe that. Names or... Oh yeah. Oh, such a typical Irish thing to be called whenever there's a bit of music going. Hmm. Still though, they went for Christmas points, which is, you know, mm -hmm. nice, I guess. Oh badger. The old badger, yeah. Virgil was there. Oh. I'm sure I'm sure it's fine. Oh. As if the situation couldn't get any worse. Like oh. I've apparently contributed to this whole family falling apart, and now Fergal is here. Great. Again, you'll also notice there that the um, it started to it's moved to change the dear child as opposed to son. Yeah. Okay. Like it's a step in the right direction, but it's still not like right. Because <laughs> she again, like she's completely out of her depth. She has no idea how to how to talk to Cassio at this point. How do, you, how do you start? So, like, like, this is her man now trying to actually try to understand her, to try and, like, be nice about it. But, again, it's it's that same thing where, like, it's just... It, it's, they don't have the, the, the words for it. They don't have... The, the, this is completely alien. Like, they don't even have yeah. TV in Apple, as far as I know, at this stage. No, that's, that, that, that's very true. Like it's it's it, it is like something completely different, you know. Goose, I still can't get over this. What? <laughs> I love that you're getting triggered about the goose more than anything else. Blue hole drink. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite um crap beer, blue hole. <laughs> now I think this is the most unrealistic part of the game. Snow in Ireland for Christmas. On Ackle Never. Island. Never happened. There hasn't been a white Christmas in years. <laughs> not since the Conor McGregor came out. I mean, what? No, definitely not. Yes. Uh... <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, what was I saying? Oh, look up weather on Ackle Island in 1993. <laughs> mm. Please don't. If it does end up transpired that it did actually snow on Christmas Day there, then we're going to look like absolute fucking saps. We're not seen through, so thanks. So there you go. Now we have Christmas, mm -hmm. an extra, an extraterrestrial Christmas, apparently. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. Out of this world. Did they watch ET as the Christmas movie? <laughs> is is it a common Christmas movie? I mean, this is before Harry Potter came out. Before mm. Die Hard came out. That's true, actually. Yeah. Wait, no, 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 sorry. Die Hard wasn't a Christmas film, so... That's uh, a fucking ex. Beg your pardon. <laughs> are we got have, have to follow it again? Twice on this fucking playthrough. <laughs> yeah, no snow on Apple Island. Perfect. Right, it's now we've cracked four. this game for the god that it is. <laughs> we finally found the plot hole. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> this is the most Irish line that's ever existed. Oh. Soon enough, it was time for mass. Now that's the most unrealistic thing. You would have mm. dragged mass anyway, whether you want Absolutely. To A formality I have not had to endure, thankfully. So they have it now. So she's going to risk going home. Should be interesting. Okay. Again, I asked the question, fully knowing what's going to happen next, but what could possibly go wrong? She realizes with all her snow boots on that there's no snow. <laughs> Clearly, Burkbot, the snow is a metaphor. Like, this is basic stuff, lads. Come on. It's a nice, uh, nice little line there. Very true. Yeah. What I'm saying is that Monday Madness really is a family, and we do treat ourselves like that by having just putting up with ourselves more than anything else oh. there's the house looks a lot oh. nicer than uh, when we burgled it yeah much more wavy than usual oh, and there you go see. okay false alarm there's turkey What about the goose? It was a pet goose. Pes a pet goose called Frank. He replaced <laughs> Cassio in the family. Well, if she was a man, she would see. Hmm. Fergal right in there with the juggler. Oh, thanks. I, I much to Neil's um, words there, Fergal is the type of guy who just loves a fucking hit in the face. He's like, fuck off. Just shut up. Go back to your fucking bog. Again, uh, reflecting on the fact that like on that <laughs> strange one, all right. Yes, she's one of them. Uh, what you call them? Call them man. I do like this. Um, this little shot here where the two of them, the three of them, are so far away from each other. Yeah. <laughs> so. Great bully, bullying banter there from a. Uh, I got all that. Probably because it was shit, Fergal. Have you ever thought of that? <laughs> there, there's your answer. Mm hmm. <laughs> And nothing like a good old-fashioned guilt trip at Christmas to really like, set the mood. That, that what's your problem line is such a, you know, invitation for everyone to state the obvious. You know what their problem is. Yes. At which point do we address the elephant in the room that both of you are woefully underqualified to talk to, to help to help someone through this? Nobody has the words for Yes. Very, very Irish mammy. <laughs> mm. uh, what are spuds? We'll never know, James. We'll never know. Spuds? No, no, I, I'll help you out with this one. Spuds is a North London football team called Tottenham Hotspur, and in Ireland they're called Spuds. That's very true, actually. Yeah. Don't, don't question me on that. I'm absolutely correct in what I say that. I 
again, this is a, this is the fair. This is again. You can see the the mother's kind of perspective here. She thinks this is just something, some a phase. Come back when from Dublin. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Because her perception, like again, and, and as often the case with Irish mammies, they always have a very different perception of what you are, in a way. Yeah. Like they do kind of like they, they hype you up a little bit and they have this kind of silly notion of what you become so much so that that kind of like conflates what you might actually be so um so again like like, like the man here here is not a bad person it's just she just has yeah. preconceptions you know as yeah as absolutely. Fergal did. there's no sort of parenting course that can like nowadays there are like courses yeah. you can look up to help you with this and you can you know get you know help in this matter this is a completely unknown thing yes as far as i'm aware like this was not a regular occurrence for you know parents to have to deal with no, no. Just to shut it down. exactly yeah and much of the point like the even the priest yeah and so far that's the most unrealistic thing about this yeah <laughs> <laughs> they're tactically waiting to deploy it until the end for the for the end of the episode end of the show it's like right we've excised we've excised all our options call for father Mahoney. he'll sort this all out so it's it's christmas and she decided to run okay, right so back to the house. <laughs> oh hey So what's been happening with that black hole, you might ask? Oh, okay, that's convenient. <laughs> the attack of the nuns. <laughs> the space nuns. It's like Starship Troopers, but more Catholic. Jesus, that has to be some sort of yeah. horror film. I oh, say it like, is it's very distorted. Yeah. Where is her mind? <laughs> Good question, James. I don't know. The smell of burning. It's always good but... when something's going on fire. It means yep. heat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get the feeling the house has been a metaphor here for something. I just can't place what it is. Can uh, anyone... Any... The nuns have set fire to her house. Oh, of course. The, the Catholicism is back for, uh, for its revenge. So yeah, she's basically um, she's hiding in every, for every possible um, meaning of that. That was really well done. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, seemingly so. Yes. Pretty. Yeah, it's a bit a bit groovy at this point, like. So you can see, so much like we were talking about earlier on, the timeline is kind of like um, uh, aligning at this point, if you like, between what's been happening in the past and what's happening with Cassio now as an astronaut. Yeah. So again, she's like, she's hiding out, essentially starving herself. It's not, it's not a good luck, lads. The others in the group, though, they've all left. Yeah. They all, well, they all went off to your one size for Christmas. And I believe they're still there, by all accounts. Are like are they still in the big house as well, or? Uh, no, they're 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 with uh, the aunt now. So the only person in that house is her is Cassio. Yeah. Because, like I said, it's falling apart and it's not safe to be there. And just to make the situation worse. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's your answer, James. The rest of them are yeah. in uh, Hermione's house. 
Although I believe Shans is at um, is, is with his family, I believe. So it's just the gay couple that's living with um, with the aunt now at the minute. And Fergal not really doing much to reassure the situation here. I mean, I know I like to go up and insult empty houses. Yeah. <laughs> I do it all the time. It's my favourite hobby. <laughs> I'm not saying Islanders are weird, but if you're shouting at front doors, you may you may need a friend. Is all I'm saying. Just just throwing it out there, lads. All right. It's like one of those having an argument in the shower. Uh, yeah. You know you're gonna win, so you have always have the last word. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we're, looks like we're going back into back to the present here. So this is us um, in the present trying no to use a telephone box. Yes. No, no crossery. No crossery. No. I, th I think it's self-explanatory, James. Surely. <laughs> the, guy, the guy that. <laughs> that Cassio was talking to all this time was an accountant. <laughs> not even ground control, not even someone from NASA, just a normal accountant. <laughs> and Cassio still has trust issues after all this time. Very much trust issues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mhm. Mm there we go. Dear, the voicemail has uh, really been um, trolly there. We all pretend to be shocked as Cassio suddenly starts getting sick. The, the trick the trick is now trying to figure out what sick that she actually has living in a house full of mold and you know smell no there are <laughs> yeah don't say Two days in the two days in that house will do that to you. The curse of the nuns has got her. Yeah. As I, as I said in the show, lads, they uh, they have a direct line to God. Yeah, it's fair to say Shans has also turned against us here at this rate. Oh, yeah. It's almost like we rejected him or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with him. So it's, it's kind of weird. Like, it seems like uh, Shans has had his, like, little, um, a sort of reality check, as it were. So he's kind of like very dismissive now of what's uh, of what was going on there you have it so perhaps it's kind of part of the theme as well is the fact that like they are because they are kind of living in like a in this kind of like isolated area he kind of he, he kind of feels like he has to start fitting in now well he's Absolutely turned turned down by it. Yeah. No. It could be that kind of argument where it doesn't pay to be weird anymore. Yeah. Maybe that's the maybe maybe, maybe that's his thinking. What is like three days later? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, two weeks. Well, since the since the house party, I think it's eight days. 
Right. So you've had Christmas, isn't it? Like the day before Christmas, or a few days before Christmas, yeah. But like I said, it's because like the they were like there's like two or three days of like crippling awkwardness, <laughs> and then Christmas, and then like now three days of crippling loneliness, just to really add add to the situation. I like the drawings, the shoes. Mm. Again, it's a lot. Uh, what was it, the early 2000s, whenever uh, every photo up on Beagle and stuff like that was a group of people standing in a circle? Like, yes. I'm glad that we grew out of that phase oh, yeah. as, a, as a society. <laughs> and now we're. Here we go. I do like that this is the transition from like past to present. Like it's a very it's a very simple choice like. But like in the past there wasn't color TV, so that makes sense. Exactly, yeah. Well there he is now. Our happy little accountant. The guy that's gonna save Ireland with us, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I watched them. Um, I watched that show years ago. What's it called? Uh, the Battle Star Galactica. Yeah, it's very good <laughs> now. Are you much into Red Dwarf at all? Are you? <laughs> Neither. I'm Babylon 5. I'm one of the real weird oh. ones. <laughs> You're shorter than I expected. Can we please save the world? Actually, no. I want to talk a bit more, if that's alright. <laughs> well, you're, on, you're in the West, so yes, you are. I'm in Zagos, Aaron. He could sit up the front talk to the driver mm. very accurate how the bus stop is leaning over yeah oh. so what's happening here the 29th so again still still hanging in there even though she really shouldn't be <laughs> So again, people showing more concern about her, but she's not really, um, yeah. not really uh, accepting the invo invite. I don't. I, it's hard. I know it's, it's kind of hard to relate at this point, but after like three days in like a, in a rotten house, I I would have left. You know. Yeah. I would have I mean, left. I can understand. I lived in some kids in college. Um, but it's not like they can't, you know, break in. It's, yeah, yeah they can. Nothing actually stopping them going to the door and opening it. Kicking it down. Like literally, there's a hole in the roof. Just get a ladder, lads, and you're in. It's not Come like on, people. she's the only one who has keys. They yeah. All broke into the place. Oh, are they worried that like if they got break in, then they will actually get haunted by nuns? Is that what's going on? Because <laughs> that's Maybe. that's breaking another law. And it's just exactly. They, yeah. They have they they've reached their limit. <laughs> they're they, they're allowed to break one or two rules of Catholic dogma. Like you've already yeah, burned up one then with then the gay couple. Premium nun mm. hardship. Nunneries. <laughs> they get annulled. <laughs> <laughs> right, so apparently there's an address. So, again, you notice why the, the fireplace still keeps um, popping up there. It's a bit 
bit unusual. Oh, guards are back now. Uh. Day four of the mental breakdown. Like, if there's one thing I call bullshit on, it's that anything gets done on the days between Christmas and New Year's. Yeah. That's probably why the guard is like so at like his nose is so out of joints. It's like you got me here during my Guarding week off. Work. Yeah. <laughs> He's afraid of the nuns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're all afraid of the nuns. <laughs> they don't want to touch this door for love nor money. <laughs> Right, they're scared of the nuns, so they're gonna come in during the dark with an extra guards to make sure that the nuns are somehow asleep. It's really to give the priest a heads up mm. in case there's a anyone that anything that needs to be hidden. Exactly. Now, what's happening here? Oh, mm. oh, there's the there's the black hole. Well, look who that is. Look who's ah. that. Well, I think you know who she is, Cassio. <laughs> May God have mercy on us all. Sweet baby Jesus and the orphans. So it's a little picture of an astronaut. Right, so at New Year's Day, she's decided, right, I'm gonna pack this shit in. Yeah. New Year, new me. Oh look, and now everything is on fire, ish. So it's weird, like, it's the, the kind of storytelling here is that kind of like the astronaut Cassio is kind of like in part of this diary, if you know what I mean. That's the way yeah. I've kind of interpreted it. So it's like it's, it's like a story within this, like a universe within the universe kind of type of deal. And now it's because, like, uh, because past Cassio is now throwing this diary into the fire, presumably, then that's why everything is falling Cassio apart. Cassio is getting yeah. destroyed and Ireland is getting destroyed. Precisely, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a very like inverted butterfly effect of sorts. Okay. So this, uh, for me, this part of the game doesn't work. Did, didn't really work for me, but pretty down to preference. We'll talk about it later on. So sorry, lads, but Ireland is now um, completely dark. We've all electricity is gone. And uh, uh, look, it's fair to say, Mediterranean Sea is gone as well. Yeah. At least the Aaron Islands will survive, maybe. Wales is almost certainly gone. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, the universe itself is just completely having a mare. This is trippy as fuck! Yeah, you'd want to drop something before you fucking play this, wouldn't you? I like how this bit is done on Microsoft Paint. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It is just a paint tool. Just like, have fun. Draw your own apocalypse here on If Found. And you resist the drama keyness. You'd be shocked to hear, James, that was not an option. And it's also getting glitched out as well now, which is which is great. And there's herself again. So it's all okay. it's all coming back into us. Essentially, we are at fault for universe dying. Yeah. Which is, which is nice, I guess. Again, the my my um capturing here does not do this justice. It is like proper fucking white noise. That is. Yeah. Yeah. And there's us again. Uh, 
That's meant to be us walking, I think. Oh, okay. I think. Trippy as fuck. Yeah. Very. So again, this is all us, like, burning the diary, basically. Supposedly. Yeah. Or is it? <gasps> so again, remember that like the astronaut did actually enter the black hole. So yeah. Again, the imagery here is uh, the actual just the actual drawn of it is is mad. So again, in this supposedly like black hole thing, she's reliving everything all at once, which is yeah, probably why yeah. it's all so like fucking bizarre. So again, it's it's nice it's nice how it's in layers. So like you always have it's like there's some something positive, and then like oh shit, everything's oh, everything's terrible. Yeah. All of a sudden, and much like the Irish, and as we all know, the Irish mind is like purposely designed to focus on the negative, like we're. Yeah. <laughs> This is what we do. So this is her um, acid house phase. Yes. That, that's all I can get from this, really, at this point. Yeah. It's like, if this is what a black hole actually is, then a lot of people would be interested in that. So now, like, there's actual, like, memories in the background now that are all getting burned up because she's essentially dying. Yeah. Or, in a, or you could perhaps even argue she's losing herself. Identity and all that. Hello. Hello. Oh. Did she enter the right. good place? This is, this is fine. This is... This looks okay to me. I'm, I'm happy with what how this is playing out. Nothing says things are okay than repeatedly saying things are okay. Yes. There's not even an Irishism at that point. You just it is just like well yeah. <laughs> I have an opinion thrilled by that stuff in the last little bit. Sorry, I've not had too much, kind of, comments on it. He's kind of zonked. Yeah, I'm just. I know we're just trying to make sense of it as well. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Feet. Looks like it. Developed by there we are, we're starting. <laughs> You'll also know as well, like, the, the actual cursor has changed from, like, an eraser to pencil. A pencil. Because now we're, now we've, we've caught up now. We're no longer in the past. We're actually right in the future now. So essentially, like, we've been, from the start, we've been, like, doing everything from the diary. And now, because we're writing it, and now it's, like, Something like something has changed, so it's obviously like we survived or whatever. So now there's our mother, there's our mom trying to go in and save us. And calling her Cassio. Mmm. Yeah. With the aunt and uh, and Colin there as well. Like, it's fair to say, like, Cassie was fairly close to death there. <laughs> like, she was... She could have died in there. Oh, yay! Yeah. There you go. You're getting your happy end here. And again, I love the way this is done. You're just, like, you're, you're slowly expanding the scene here. It's great. First Virgo. Mm. Frick. I was about to say, like, I'm, I'm waiting for like Fergal to be like in the window, just going, <laughs> not normal. Where's? <laughs> yeah, he's the fucking, he's the, the fucking the bartender from the Savage Eye. Where's? <laughs> Fergal is absolutely the kind of guy who like blames losing his job on the gays. Oh just, yeah. 
just as a concept, them existing. It's like, so Fergal, you you were in a you know, meat processing plant for a long time. I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. And were you there for the salmonella outbreak? That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And was it you that, uh, yeah, I sent in the defective part. Yeah, that's right. And <laughs> do you think that was why, why you let go? No, it was because of the rampant sexuality on the island. I couldn't concentrate on that. I just couldn't <laughs> fucking concentrate. So that feels like that should be the finishing point of the game. It is. So the rest of this is PS, basically. It's a postscript. Okay. So, That's so it's very strange. It, yeah. So, so the way it works, is you're actually like writing the write, writing the diary now itself. So it's quite strange. Um, essentially, because like, because there are like two stories kind of um ongoing. So like, there's one for like um Cassio who survived in the in as a word a present if you like. Yeah. And then there's this like astronaut Cassio at the same time in I guess a. A parallel universe is the only way I can think of because the two stories like don't really match up at this point. There is a critical difference, basically. Um, like for instance, there's no Mac in like in the in uh, Cassio's um, story, but there is in the yeah. astronauts one. Oh, so a yeah, no, it's choose your own adventure now from this point on. So again, like for me now, this is the part of the game that doesn't work for me at all. Like it's it's kind of like the thing where like it, like they 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 did really well with the characters and story starting up for this, and then suddenly like now that you've like we've reached the end of that point, it's up now like we get to decide how it ends. It's like okay, these are all characters I've only met though, so how am I supposed to decide on them? You know what yeah. I mean? So that's again, this is just an observation, but we'll see see what you think. Because again, this is all just like choices now of what you want to the story to play out, basically. So bearing in mind, uh, astronaut um, Cassio did make a promise to Mac to uh, show him the universe, which is not, which is you know very nice of her. Same answer at the end. No, it it, it it changes the context of the conversation. It changes the, the context of the story. So, in a way, like it's kind of like it's kind of done so you um, basically decide how the story ends based on your your interpretation of the characters. But much to that point, like there's very little given on the characters, so it's hard to judge yeah. where you think the right answer is. It's just down to perspective, you know. So here's the actual like new addition to the um to the diary. Oh, as weak as a kitten. Yeah. yeah. And that would make sense that he was calling the cat. <laughs> piss, 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 piss. Since I was found, everyone knew you were there. You're shit at hide and seek. <laughs> to be fair, there's very little places you could go. There was two choices, oh, yeah, and he checked that one. So in a way, like again, it, it's nice that you get to kind of decide how the story ends, but it is still fairly inconsequential, if you know what I mean. It's just like, what did you think of this story? You know, type yeah. of deal. It's a nice reflective way to end, but again, it's it, as I said, it's fairly consequential. <laughs> the best kind of rashers, lads. Let's oh, be fair. Yeah. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a big jump. Yeah, big jump here.
I like and, how the other thing is so crooked. Mm. Well, we get to choose what you look like. Yeah, exactly. So you you basically get the choice of like what your self portrait would be, but again, like uh, I don't have much of a say in this because I'm actually kind of happy with that design. You know, it kind of checks out. Yeah. I do make some amendments, ad in fairness. But like I said, it's it's a kind of thing where like perhaps if you did kind of like really relate to the character, you would. Um, Design it more well, like yourself, maybe. Probably, yeah. I think that's maybe what they were going with. But yeah, uh, yeah I'm happy with that. Now, do you put in an Irish flag behind you or not? <laughs> I didn't even oh. think. I didn't actually mention notice the Irish flag there at all. Would you believe? Ooh. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm, I'm disappointed myself there. Just like oh, I was. It was I was just that. so. I was just so confused at this point. It's like, what? Okay, right, fine. I, the, the story is happy end, I guess. And yeah, that's that is essentially the end of it found as it as as the story, as you can see. Now, like I said, there is like a good bit more after that where basically it explains like where all the characters have gone at that point, you know. But um, before we do get to that kind of like the epilogue. As it were, and um, what have you guys thought of this so far? The story itself. Yeah, really, really, really liked it. Um, really glad I took part in this. Um, as a game, I don't know, but as a short story, very interesting. Hmm. Um, it's definitely not fishing France in and punching in with scrolling cows. Yes. No, it, it's 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 a it's what oh I Oh my god, it's lower. Yeah. Oh, I knew I I knew I knew it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I think uh, I think this game just got earned an extra half point from uh, Burkbot there. Which is good. Yeah, no, I, I as I said, I have absolutely loved the music through this. The music has been mm. fantastic. Set the atmosphere really well. Um, no, this this was good good to follow along with. Oh, ensemble area as well. It's weird so, that I actually know some of the, the I've seen some of the these musicians live and I didn't talk that I was listening to them. Yeah. It probably probably shows you how engrossed in the story you actually were in the end. Yeah, like but I was like, oh these are bops. I'm really, really enjoying the music. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> of course, I've actually seen them live. I've paid money to go see them. <laughs> and I do it again. Yeah. Again, for me, I, again, for me, the novelty of this game is that it's an all Irish production. Like it's all Irish music. It's all it's an Irish writer. Oh, yeah. It's an Irish artist. It's an Irish company. You know. So it's nice that like um, it's nice that we have some actual representation in the gaming world. You know. And yeah. It, it, it is. It's different. It's not like um, like this. This is. A, different style of game as well like it's mm. not uh, not not generic yeah I, I get that as well like i mean it, it's it's certainly focused on telling the story which i think is um is always a good yeah. thing um it certainly has a lot more <laughs> yeah well, i mean i mean we we are nothing but a bunch of fucking shanakis at the end aren't we really but um <laughs> but in fairness like it it what i would say about it is that like it like it is a very like short story, but it certainly has a bigger brief to to go deeper into these characters if they wanted to. Like um like that was kind of be my kind of like if if it is a criticism of that, criticism at all, it is the fact that like it is only two hours and I know very little about the characters themselves. You know, so when it yeah. does like get to the point where you're doing the epilogue and you're deciding what happens, like how did these all these characters play out? It, it's kind of a guessing game for me because like you didn't give me much to go on initially like it was kind of a lot of characters are face value a little bit with well, like expo with exception to like um maggie and uh and shans really so this is the this is the epilogue here now so you basically get, okay. get to choose these little scenes in time okay. and that kind of expands what happened to the character afterwards um that said I, like i could have played this game for two hours and i could have played life is strange for two hours yeah, um, 
I do think that you'd have gotten more character development here mm -hmm. than in that game. No, do you know what? It, it, you, you hit the nail on the head there because Life is Strange was the exact game I was thinking of when I was playing this. Because yeah. I remember, in the, like, not so much in the second game because that was a ball of wank, but in the first game, <laughs> like, you did have that option to, for, um, there was a kind of like the, the, I suppose like the kind of the the lesbian option if you want to call it that and yeah. how that kind of story changes if you wanted to go down that route and i was thinking at the time i was thinking oh that's a nice way of, of kind of doing it because again like at that point like you at that point in your life you're very lucky to have like gay or lesbian experiences and so forth and that can change your your viewpoint of a lot of things yes, next. But, Sorry. <laughs> but for me <laughs> I love as well, like, she, they brought her to the Pride and that was her sign. <laughs> be nice to the game. <laughs> but in a, like a broken sentence. It's like, be nice, but specifically. <laughs> but yeah, so it, this is a nice little sign-off for her character as well. The fact that she's able to start, she's able to start opening up now as well, you know. And this, this is a part of life because, like, it's telling backstory about her. About... You probably could have done with this while making the decisions at the end then. Exactly, exactly. This is the, I would have wanted to know this before the point, before the fact. Like, she was an interesting character. She could have had this development as part of the game. Yeah, yeah, this is the thing. And again, you can make the argument that this is still part of the game, but like, you've just had the credits. So like, that tells me we're done. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's a nice little... It's like it's a nice sign off for each character, but it's also like there's also two universes going on here, so some of it's not going to make sense. Yeah. Just saying. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, like the <laughs> underage train and Cloud Beckle Sky. Yeah. So again, it's it's nice that you get to, you can even like you can juggle the night the diary around to whatever you whichever way you want it, like. That's a good line. I like that. Yeah. Which is all again. That's that's very very true. Like how many people have gone their entire lives without being themselves? When you think about it. Ooh. So this should be interesting. Yeah, the pencil. The pencil can be a bit um, uh, generous. I think it's it's fair to say. Weedling doesn't get a crossery. <laughs> Is that even an Irish word? No, I don't know it. No. Again, ni again, nice little scenes, but again, the, it's it's after the story. So, what's the the significance of it is kind of up to your interpretation. Do like the cheeky cross there just at the end mm. just like you know just to remember just to remind you we're watching keep an eye on you no you know this this is where it was going lads come on Like, it, it's one of the central themes of the game at this point. Yeah. 
<laughs> that's such an Irish thing they say is we can even say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> we don't normally make a fuss about it, is what I'm saying, you know? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, what's this all about? Shams. Tiny room. You haven't seen our apartment in Dublin. <laughs> yeah, this is 94, lads. You know, a tiny room there is like, you know, very, it's a very different uh, thing. Oh! oh. You've gone all alternative and shit. It's a little hoop. I think I'm going to call bullshit on this. This epilogue is too happy, cheery compared to the rest of the game. The it, this is the that house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's not a bad shout. <laughs> Like we are essentially writing our own like future here, so it's like, yeah, well, well, all this is all this happens definitely. So again, it's nice that like you know like you're able to make amends after like you know ditching him, <laughs> kicking him, kicking the poor the poor guy while he's down. We also forgot about Lauren. Like, she's gone. So, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever she was, she's gone. Yeah. <laughs> was she even there to begin with? I thought. Anyway, moving on. You notice the uh, use of they there. They by the are, way. yeah. Mm. Right, so this is the weird one. So the the nineteen ninety X one is where like the things have gone to shit, and there's kind of like an a a very like alternate reality to this. Oh shit! Okay. Mm. okay. That's so James will enjoy this. Yes. So I think this is all based off the um of Cassio the astronaut here at this point, um, and it has nothing to do with the actual like other characters with some going on. It's like why if like things have gone to shit basically. Um, I'm not gonna lie, lads. It's very Death Stranding. Like it's literally the same gimmick as Death Stranding. Like all communications are over. Everyone's fractured, and now everyone has to try and help, help rebuild society. Like the only thing this is missing is fucking Norman Reedus, like <laughs> with a fucking baby attached to him. Yeah. Everything is so different then. The music is mm. more spacey. Yeah. So yeah, there's the key word there, but this, they're the seeds of new universes. So essentially we are in this new universe ourselves. So there you go, yeah. Okay. So what's what's kind of happening here is like from the one event of like Cassio nearly dead with Diary, two different like, like worlds have opened up. The one where she was okay and fine, but also the one where her in the future in the black hole has gone to black hole and is now in this weird kind of dimension. You notice that the guy in a, on the left there looks quite familiar. Yeah. Well, this guy's, but well, this fella's uh, name is uh, called Anu apparently. So I think, I think the idea is that like this Casio doesn't actually um, have the same backstory even as the one from Ackle Island, yeah. or if so, it doesn't seem to matter. So in, in a sense, like that's what it says, like even the, the past is being rewritten. So she hasn't gone through the shit that like, um, that we've seen in, in the entire duration of the game. So it's quite, yeah. it's quite odd.
and again this is the sort of thing where like this is the sort of part of the story which i would have liked some form of like explanation on you know like they've kind of kept this like a bit too in the dark for me to to try and like get st stuck into now like a, a little bit of like extended like game time in that in that part would have been good yeah. but no it did it, it, this this part doesn't work for me unfortunately strange yeah again like le legit like this is just death stranding now at this point <laughs> like I, I i'm trying to go like what, what the fuck is this all about happy to the lack of island being attacked by hp lovecraft fuck off <laughs> this only happened once and that was during italian 90. <laughs> <laughs> no one talks about it because it was such a happy time for our country <laughs> <laughs> that is where the black hole is now. Yes, it's it's late it's late dormant. It's relocated. Um, yes, to so a much safer area, just in case. This is basically a horror story. Now. Hmm. There's Breed McHugh. Hmm. Uh. Fighting monsters, have a cup of tea. As you do. So again, like like Breed is our man, by the way. Like, yeah. In, in canon, so like it's so like this Cassio is a complete different person from like the one where we we're seeing in the story, or it's either again it's also the point maybe just everyone's just forgotten all the whole like you know family and all that sort of shite but yeah it's um it's a weird one it's a weird part of the game it's almost bridget's day mm -hmm. so again like, oh, like this yeah yeah so like, like this, um, this kind of like Cassio, I suppose, is the kind of like the, is more of a healer type character. But again, you wouldn't have known that from from what we've seen, you know. From the whole game, no. Yeah, because the whole the whole game kind of focuses on the other character. So to kind of have this suddenly like, and here's what's been happening in the alternate universe. Like some people would go like, there there was an alternate universe where, like. Yeah. It's either that or it's all a very extended metaphor and I'm just too dumb to understand. Again, this I only went for that because that's the only connective tissue in all of this. It's like, wait, right, you've introduced one character in this part. Yeah. What happened? Tell me things. Oh, about to almost die and then she's saved. Yes. Elderly women. Uh -huh. Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> and Hilda. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Captain Hildegard. See, now there's now in this alternate universe, the t lovely two old women we've been hearing about are space pirate lesbians. Is this um, is this her head cannon for what's going on? I can only imagine. Like, I can that that is that is literally my only guess at this point. Did she start writing short stories? Possibly. This is her uh, graphic novel she's writing. Yes, that's it, yeah. 
This is instead of a PhD. Yeah, she tells <laughs> she's teaching tutorial. Mm. She's just doing graphic novels. She's just doing fan fiction. She's doing fan fiction of the people Mike's she knows. Mike's O'Malley fan fiction. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when space ants go too far. <laughs> No space pirate speaks like this. <laughs> and I refuse to be told space otherwise. A cup of space tea now. Oh my God. Get down off of that space. That, get down off of that airlock. Uh, this is a 2000 odd. Yes. So, nice. so again, we're back now with like the actual Casio here now. With like okay. what's happened to all these characters in the future. So what's happened to Fergal you might be asking. You'd be shocked to hear he has a family. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that's her endearing character trait. She wears a lot of makeup. Probably her personality. Hmm. Ah, uh, the Godmother. Wait. Who wants to know about the godmother, James? Come on. Apparently, you had the Christmas Dunny Ball. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? What year was this? 2012. I don't think Mayo got, uh, got the final in 2012. Mm. This really is fanfic. <laughs> <laughs> I, again, I don't know if it's a deliberate or not, but like, Fergal's character always seems to be the like the worst drawn. You know, like the <laughs> yeah. least detail about him because like he is just a bland like dull bastard. So like literally, he just has he doesn't even have the closest like facial features. No, it was Donegal Mayo. Oh, well, there you go. It's in canon, lads. It actually, it, this has actually happened. Yeah. And you know what? Mayo fucking bottled it again. <laughs> so again, this is this is future man now. Mm. What we have, what what have we learned about her from growing old? So again, like again, we've mentioned this already, but the actual the the lead designer for this game is is trans herself. So, uh, like it that's this is why it does come across like a very personal game because it seems like yeah. she's kind of talk she's talking to her own experiences as well. A lot of this game does come across as a personal experience. Yeah, and um, and that's why I quite and again that's one of the really good things about it. Like it does feel oh, yeah. very relatable. You know, like you can you can understand people are feeling this way and people are in these similar situations. And um, not even if you're trans, by the way. Like even if you're if, if you're gay or you're or you're something along those lines as well. Like in, if you're if you're in a, a part of Ireland, minds do not change that quickly. They are they are very close minds. They are they they are built into the Catholic dogma. You know? oh, yes, because Dublin is full of open-minded folks. Well, I mean, in comparison, again, that's why I love about the the the, the aspect of it here is like it's it's this is brought across like as if it's Dublin that's changed them. Dublin, this like hotbed of like liberals that like don't believe in that that stuff. It was like, okay, have you have you been to Dublin, lads? Do, do you know what we do? <laughs> Not much. Nah. So yeah, um, again, the story here is that we've we've happened to see Jack on the laptop or uh, on the on the tube. And yeah. we we didn't we didn't talk to him because again throughout the game he's been kind of a very incidental character so it kind of makes sense. Yeah. How did that not have a crossroad? Oh, she couldn't. Oh, she couldn't.
again, a weird one. Again, like because like there was so little kind of given to these characters, it's very hard to like to write yeah. the write script, you know. Because we don't we don't know what's happened to these characters ourselves. So like, how are we supposed to write this, you know? So yeah, that's what's happened to him. And I'll honestly even try to remember the character more than anything. Yeah, that's the that's the problem. And considering that there's very little, few, very few characters to begin with, yeah, that yeah. Uh, that says a lot. So. So now let's see what happens to, to Maggie in this uh, futuristic year. You'd be shocked to hear she's not a space pirate in this timeline. Aww. Um, as much as she wants to, I guess, but no, not the, not this time. No healthy. Hmm. <laughs> of course it has. Yes, babies make things everything more stressful. Is that right, Neil? Huh? Huh? Yeah? <laughs> He'd agree if he was here. He's off with the baby. Yes. He's on baby duty. And will be for the rest of his life. <laughs> I'm gonna die alone. So again, this this is good as well because it, it, it at least with this scene, this one works because this is one of the few characters you've had like some form of detail on. Yeah. You know. So yeah, there you go. And for me, that's a lovely sign off to that character. I think that one that one in particular works. And again, really good line to end to yeah. end her story on. So yeah, forgive me for going chronologically here, but I presume there's some form of pattern in it, but there actually really isn't. <laughs> so Remember the Anu we, that was in the parallel yeah. universe? Apparently there's one in this one. Funny how that works. But here's the thing, lads. We know who this person is. Oh, this is Shans in, his, in their new... Yeah. Figured. Because they referenced... As they. Yes, exactly. There's your, that was your clue. That there he is. That's that's what he. That's how he is now. There you go. Like not gonna lie, I kind of like that twist. Like it yeah. was not necessarily he was hiding in plain sight, but like in a way, you're, he's kind of glad that like he did decide to, um, or indeed they decide to uh, to be who he wanted to be. You know. But again, the, the lovely thing about it is that uh, the, be the best thing about it is that he that they were able, able to have a family as well. You know, it, yeah. like it's it's perfectly normal. There's nothing wrong with it. Kids look delighted now. In fairness. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. If you're being forced to perform on stage, no kids. Yeah, I, I I would be the same. In fairness.
So yeah. Again, again, for the other character, I think that really did get like fleshing out. A good sign off because that's yeah. like, like they they've they've got the they've got what they wanted as well. You know, they are who they, they are now. Who do you want to be? Yeah. And now, last but certainly not least, Column. Hmm. I'm gonna write in his face because why not? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, May 22nd, 2016. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was 15, wasn't it? it was 15, yeah, sorry. so a year after Equality Night. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, I did, do you know what? They actually do mention that, I think, yeah. In all fairness, this has been a long post game. Yeah. Like, I was surprised myself, like, how much, like, there was, like, left to the epilogue. I was like, you could have saved this for the game, lads. Like... I think that's probably the negative I would have for this. This could be part of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, the fact that, like, you are essentially, like, leaving... And, like, we can go by the time. Like, this is a fifth of the game time. Like, left to, like, what do you think happened? It's like, I don't know. You, you haven't given me enough to go on. <laughs> It's like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Burpo, you were spot on the money, look. <laughs> Sham! <laughs> it's for uh. tax purposes. Stop lying to yourself! So yeah, so again, it's ni nice endings for everybody. Palm's choice? No. Mm. Again, like again, if I if I got just a little bit more detail, I would have liked. I would have enjoyed the column character as well. But again, it's just it just needs it just needs more information. You know, that kind of way. Yeah. So yeah, that's the that's it found, lads. That is it. That's all of it done, pretty much. Right. So um, so now that we've now that we know the story, we know what happened to the character. What's your your final thoughts on it, lads? Should have used a crossery more. I think we I, I think we can all agree it needed more crossery. But apart from that, apart from that, me no, shot, shooting I myself like, in the foot I there. Loved the art, loved the music, the storyline was good. Presented in a good way, like yeah. the the um the, like the storyboard getting drawn and redrawn and the diary aspect of like that played really well. It mm. matched very well with the story they were trying to tell. Yeah. Yeah. No. A uh, really enjoyable um in in terms of like a game with no gameplay. Um, mm. the, the gimmick was decent. Um, the, the the controls were janky for you. Um, <laughs> no, I, no, I just I, they, they weren't that bad. I just made them look janky because I was trying to find secret shit, and there and there wasn't any there. <laughs> it was one. It was one secret shit. That was it. That's one criticism. <laughs> you didn't find fair point. Anything. It's a fair point. I just didn't find anything else. Yeah. Um, but no, no, really, really enjoyable. Um, and I really did like the Irishness of it. Like it's a completely mm. alien part of Irishness to me, but I could still relate to the the, fr the mannerisms and the uh, the phraseology of the mother and yeah, you know, like like the conversations felt really natural. Yeah, like in, in a lot of games, you have like very um, stilted. Yeah, exactly. Term like conversations. The conversation on flow where it, it seemed to flow really well. And that's maybe probably a case of because it's very typical Irish conversations and how we do have mm. conversations. Yeah, no, I I, I totally agree with that, you and don't I think see like that in media. yeah, and and again, I think the reason why it works so well is because it was written by Irish people. Like they 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 know the best out of everybody how we speak. So in a sense, that there is like a very personal touch on that is what I quite liked. Um, but um. I suppose from my point of view, what I would say is that like my my initial kind of like thoughts on it is that it is 
just that that bit too short for these for me to really um enjoy all of these characters because it's yeah in a way like i, I see what it's it, I, what it's doing is a very big deal like the, the the main cast here is a gay couple a non-binary and the trans and transgender and the thing about that is like that is it's it's a brave move and it's a good move and it's all very good for representation and it needs to be more of it obviously um what I would say to that is um, a pet peeve I've often had with like these type of characters is that when they are written in like this, they're written in as just that, like they are yes. just a gay couple. They're just trans transgender, whatever. And my only concern is that like, um, uh, obviously for people who are writing and trying to like relate somehow, that's often how the character ends. But for me, and I've always had this philosophy that it should be the least interesting part of their character in a, in a way. And I mean that in a nice way, of course, because, in a way, if you wanted to have those characters be like complete, uh, to be fully accessible, to be fully enjoyable for anybody, as opposed to just people who might like shut down when they see a gay character and just not be interested or whatever it is, because again, they have their own preconceptions, and um, like more detail is needed. You know, like I want to know, like there was one character there that was actually no information was given whatsoever, and that was Jack. Like literally, all we knew about him was that he was gay. There was nothing else about, it, and he was a drummer, and. Good rashers. That was it. That, those are the three character traits. Whereas <laughs> with a like great, Shans, a great part of the game, the rashers. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I think we can all get behind rashers. Like we all, we all, <laughs> we all endorse rashers here on the channel. But um, sorry, vegans, for disappointing you there. But um, but the thing is, like, like well, for for a character like Shans, for example, is a great example because he got uh, quite a lot of the spotlight in this in this game. And for me, like, I don't know what you guys think about this, but he kind of felt more like the main character to me than than Cassio did, um, because. He, he felt like he was actually going on a bit of a journey himself. And as you saw from like the, the postscript, he kind of got there as well, you know, and, and, and that's obviously very good. And it makes sense because again, at nine, like even in the nineties, how do you know you're, you are non-binary because like the, even that term hasn't been invented yet. The idea, the concept hasn't been invented yet. Even though yeah. you know yourself, you don't know you, you're neither male or female. You're kind of like, you're neither. So it's like, how do you, how do you express that? How do you, how do you um, live your life like that in a sense? Um, so I thought he was a very good character. Like I said, I think if, the, if there were just, if there was just more information, if there was a bit, if everything was fleshed out a bit more, then I would have, I would have really loved the, the whole game as a premise. Although I yeah. would still totally agree that the presentation is stunning. It's yeah. so well done um, in how it does things and how it like gets its point across. Um, I can't you fault it on that front. The whole game with like the future characters. Like, yeah, I, w I would have ditched the future aspect altogether. I don't think it yeah. works at all. Um, and I, again, I, I do mean that in a nice way, where like if you, um, if you I think I mentioned earlier on, like lose anything. No, I, I don't think so. I don't think so I, at I all. If anything, I think you would have gained a lot. Yeah, I agree that like in terms of character development, you you know you don't lose anything if you take it out. But I do like the, the fact that there is a, an alternative situation going on, a parallel situation mm. going on, and you dip in and out of it. And, and, and the fact that even the transitioning oh, between yeah. um, mm. past and present, like it is, it is just, it's a nice touch. And I think it's more that that's kind of the purpose of it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I found it just yeah. a nice kind of like quite heavy moments going on in the, the you know the the present or the past sorry and then mm. you kind of jump forward to this like like really like acid trippy you know obviously yeah. meant to be an impending doom situation but i was kind of digging it uh, yeah <laughs> but like yeah no i i agree with uh you uh, to the uncertain level up to the point of it should be the least interesting part of a character that the mm. fact that they're gay or that they're non-binary or that they're trans um i will say for people out there who look for representation of themselves in the media yeah um, having that as their main character might be what they need as a person to see someone mm. just being trans and going oh that's what i am oh yeah that makes sense um, oh yeah and, and that's not lost to me either like again this is me coming from my very narrow window of like what characters should be and what what i think they are i do as well. i do agree it's very that, different you know when i meet someone my first thought isn't well what's their preference and what's their mm. you know you know those type of things like are they a nice person are they sound 
um, yeah. is kind of the general thing. And yeah. you don't really get that information. And I do agree with you there. You don't know, is Jack standoffish? Um, mm. for, like, you know, or, and that's why Cassio doesn't know him. Uh, or is it that Cassio just hasn't got a chance to really, you know, talk to Jack in any meaningful way? Yeah. Like, this only happened over a course of a few days as well. So Cassio wouldn't have necessarily had a chance to meet Jack and talk to Jack mm. and get to know Jack. So, you know, that might be... She doesn't know Jack. Uh, he Bart. said the line, Bart. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, like, I... I um, I think, yeah, no, it's really interesting, a really interesting concept to have uh, all of those others as the main cast and crew of, mm. uh, of a game. And I think that could do, um, like, really good things for people's, you know, self-identifying, uh, helping, you know, like, help them self-identify or whatever and yeah. stuff like that. So, yeah, I think it's good. Um and yeah, really, really well done. Artwork, music, class. Yeah. To nitpick, I, I, to nitpick I, like that, I, as I said before, I think some of the gameplay, the, the, the epilogue should be in the, the game. Um, yeah. Or should have been left out entirely. Like, uh, you'd say if it was in the game, it might have been too stilted. Like, it might have been too information dump. Yeah. I, yeah, no, I get you. Or like, if you were to, so. you know crawl along a certain trail and get those kind of choices of what you do in this situation maybe a bit earlier in the game yeah it might give you that opportunity like you might in that party scene you might have had a chance to go talk to jack and find out a bit more mm. and then he gets more information in the epilogue um yeah and that sort of a thing like that might be you know if they were to develop any more games on these characters maybe that's a thing that they could do exactly like it, it just seemed a bit weird to like give you choice at the end when like you have been told the story up to this point so it's like it that was just a bit jarring from my point of view but again yeah i, I was gonna make this point during the epilogue but like um when i was playing this i immediately was thinking of life is strange and how that was trying to get a story across and i was thinking like this game has done life is strange so much better than life is strange could ever do because uh because you have all the characters defined and they're not like ashamed of themselves. It's like, that's not the point. The point is that like, they are what they are and like they, they, they've accepted themselves. They're accepting, they're in the process of accepting um, their own selves, if you like. And we're along, we're along for the ride watching it all happen. Now, well, again, what I would like to have seen was the dynamics, you know, like our main criticism of the second Life is Strange was that it was only two characters and they're both boring as fuck, you know? Yeah. So like, like the dynamics was was probably ground between the two of them but we had no pull we had no traction we had no reason to be whereas in this game you had all that you just didn't have the detail and that's that's my kind of uh uh yeah. grievance if you like because i wanted to know more and the fact that this game wanted me to know more uh about these characters is an accomplishment it is an achievement and yeah. hopefully for other people who want to play this it'll be the same they want to know more about these type of people you know gay trans non-binary you know, like that, the fact that like, the fact that these are presented as like legitimate people with like pros and cons and so forth, like they're not just defined by the sexuality, that should be the key message there. And uh, I think this game is a good opportunity to do that. I again think yeah. just more detail was what this game needed, really. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, lads, I think that's it. Um, so lads, thank you very much for watching this uh, Fenian plays. Um, I know yeah. we did have notions of doing watchdogs but this came up in the in the meantime and it's an all irish production so we're going to be totally biased and play something that like we, we were going to do anyway um, <laughs> and we can leave the angry naughty bullshit for next year <laughs> <laughs> so with that in mind lads i hope you i hope yourself have enjoyed it found and our um our contributions to the game itself and uh should lads, yeah. we'll see you for the next one next year whenever that may be yeah bye Shlan. Lana, Good luck to you. <laughs>